Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are on the face of this very planet. We welcome you once again to our live presentation on this hallowed platform of Radio Biafra listened to right across the surface of this very planet Earth. As I welcome you this evening, morning, afternoon, or night, depending on where you are, I will also encourage you to notify your friends and your families, and in fact, ask them to download IPOB Community Radio. So each time I am coming live on air, a notification will pop up on your phone that you may be able to join us. This very evening, we thank Chukwuke Kabiyama for all he has done and will continue to do in the lives of not just their friends, but Nigerian youths who are yearning and crying out for freedom at this material point in time. My name is Namde Kano, or Kamanosu, actually, which is the full pronunciation, is Kamanosu, which um, in literal translation means the god of thunder and lightning. Not a big god, or you know, lesser god, you know, those um, things you have in the villages. Because there's only one supreme being, only one God Almighty in heaven. I welcome you this very should I say glorious day, not minding the effort of the Fulani to try to instigate, uh, uh, should I say, a war between us and our corrupt politicians. But they have failed. They have failed, completely failed. I am the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, the largest mass movement on the face of this very earth. Bar none. No competition, no rivalry. I said bar none. The whole world over. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. This is a live presentation because the time now is 8 minutes past 7 p.m. in the glorious land of Biafra. Not to take our land from us. They're, we are monitoring their army. They are sending them from a new group. Since I'm coming from Makrodi, they are sending army to our land, but they are fighting Boko Haram and lamenting every day there is no army. They know who we are. And <laughs> the next few days, of course, the USA is gripped in the middle of a presidential election, keenly contested one at that. And we are going to do all we can to notify every donor country in the world. It's very simple. It's a very simple arithmetic. We're going to ask them, is this where your money is going? So instead of you paid, you gave money to Nigeria, now let us pray first of all, before we, we render the zoo asunder. Chine ken nan ke plumi nye ni ne chuko ki kabi ambo nye nefe wena kwisi ala nye. Anye ne nye ngos nye nye go tuto nisyo mugini ne bonde putana na pochin keta. We uchapuo nye ni ne luru nye ne behabi. Anye ne kelegi nisi umu waka ni ne ndio kuro bera umu abogobya oboge nane na la sogo bia fro nye mwem ni me obodo zu ni ne kande mado pota na abambo ipo chapo iza chapo yine ne ruru nye ebe mwem wano no bachin kate nyom na chine kena nke bere stena abuja we ruona kalaba Stenu Goja, we ruon a Lagos. Nde omu waka we putani igwe. We zo kunke poro ha. Anye na asena, ututoni ne bu nke nanega, bu nke mada dendu. Ne hi yino obu nanege, obu nanege bu chine kenna. Chine kenna kusu ni le kendiaga, the Lord of hosts, of heaven and this very earth. You are eternal. Ndibone tuge bigebi. Obi amre hawe na abu a ekupe na abu a kumbeni na sina ani gajagi masite ne bigebi malone bigebi. Anya huo loa kageni mendwani 
Iba wanyi mema nyanyi kikere. Anyi wena jare ma no huru chia. Omo yuwe bako ono wanine. Ena no zin ke gyo wegi zirende dendu. Ni ino bizi ye mwenzi ye wanine onye mwemu. Anyi nasi no mwengo nye deka gini ibu chine kena. Anyi na ye farosi. Umu chine kena ye farosi. Ni ino ukwen kanyine kwen banyi di obere. Asina Shedrach, Mishak, and Abadnego. We wande na babu ha. Mwasi ha bu isi ala we nyaro si apirape. Graven image. Arose. They said no. Shedrach, Mishak, and Abadnego. Asina ha ga bu isi ala we nyaro si. E wole ha we tinye. No obo oku. Koku we ne buwa ha. Hawe buwa buwe si. No mu chineke. Anage faro si. O wengi mwa chineke ne faro si. O bia miriji we ne du. O mu chineke. Ne du ha. O wanine ne hindo. Ndo ebe ni ne. Kwele meso oma gini mendo anyi. O bu gini ge me anya ke ke fego fufe. Man come on, man, you got to go to the house. You got to go to the house. You got to go to the house. You the house. You got to go to 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 the Ni mbogo ni radio biashara na kuchini kita, mbapa na pano budo zuni na ogarani me, hamba ni kijeni ni ya insoto ni nini kendi lo na soto, inyawa ni kikere, ogani kula ni namku yuluo, na nde fula ni bupata bundi yaga, mbani kula ni namku no yuluo, ige menki jibru chineke, diki si menki jibru chineke. Na bakili kino po chinketa. Ewe yendi yu ewe. Ye ewe. Oko mwaka na asa chilo. Ye ewe. Ewe uwe bahani ime. Hawe mana nezie nezie. No wege bozo lila nyanyo mwabunche kubanyo na mwabuge na biafro nye mwem. Ige mwana nyo ogo. Ige mwana nyo amarage. Ige anapota umwaka mwaka. Ukurobi ya nama bobo ya nine bunde ana pabu. Ebe homo hasi wea pota. Ige mwana hebele nozo pulicha. Ige lakota hega bahu mige nyama mihe. Ige nye hezie chiche. Ige nye hako. Kahan wike nanti noku son kegeze bubede ngozi. Kanya nye na wampo ya bungweno uwe kiwe wale ya wenye fanya na kani mafanya na nimi ya. Ihi neli kwenye waka waka kebegi. Haka sina mbenki ya nonye wanyi na chine kena nkusu nile nkana na wakari puge ha. Ihi nedege ya wakari pundege. Ibu chine kena. Mama drego tuto drege. Stene bie 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 bie. Ise. 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 We are live and we are direct. Mankind is bearing us witness as Chuku Kikabiyama is presiding from heaven. That is why we are formidable, unbreakable. You see this family of IPUB, unbreakable. All those of them, those that their mothers were impregnated by vandals. Vagabonds from the Sahel. Tanakoil. Akoinyo. As if we are not used to it. This very family, noble family of IPUB, was forged in the furnace of battle. Be it social media, be it anywhere, be it media war. That is where IPUB was forged in the furnace. That is why we always win. Always we win. We win always. I want to thank all Nigerian youths that came out today. I want to thank all Biafran 
young people that came out today to clean the streets. I, I saw about 20 or 25 of them that went to Orca to go and collect money. These are the people we are fighting for, you know, black people. And I, and I said before, it's not about what I call the, the poverty of education. It is something that is genetic in black people. It's genetic. There's something wrong with us. Your mates are fighting to be free. You are going to Oka to go and take money from Obiana. <laughs> Them and their propaganda and they failed woefully. Our people came out. The streets were cleaned. Where possible, a protest was held. So, and I'm asking all of you Nigerian youths not to relent. You cannot afford to go back. They are using the classic, you know, approach, which is to kill the, you know, soft landing, slowly but surely. As we are discussing it, we found the camera, we've not found the camera. And says, what happened? The aftermath, what do we learn? They are moving troops to Biafra land. And they are going to die there. They are going to perish. Watch and see now what is going to happen. When we were telling the governors, don't fire, they thought we were joking, don't fire. It's only that we have conducted investigations this evening. We discovered that the idiots that fired the shot from Abakaliki Central Police Station is a full and a weed. They wanted a provocation. They wanted us to go after Umahi and kill him if, if need be. Not that we're exonerating him. No, of course not. And there and then, they were taught a lesson. Okay, you go, you go. A cousin, a, a join her class immediately. Cousin her Abi Weed. In his uh, dialect. We taught them Abi Weed. In the back of today. In his uh, dialect. But the main army is coming. And Biafra land will be a graveyard for Nigerian army. What is left of them, we are going to kill them in our land. They will be there in Ampenpa, and it's going to happen this year. Write it down on a piece of paper. They have come to provoke. It's the classic way that Britain does things. They want to deflect attention from the very successful end SARS pro protest. What they want to do is to deploy troops to Biafra land. The normal cry babies, because the governors cannot get their acts together. They cannot do anything. No regional security, nothing. A bunch of idiots occupying government houses across the east. Mwike is there tying Toban on his head. Mwike is there and army we are escorting full of terrorists through Obi but we are slaughtering our people. Can't you, didn't you see it? Have you not seen the video? Did, did Somto not post it? Somto Konko did not post it? Have you not seen it? Nigerian army escorting full of terrorists from Gambia to attack us in Obi Ibo. So you, you didn't see it? Cowards. They cannot fight on their own. They always come with the army. They always come with the army. And that army is heading down. The main body of it is coming down to our land. And that is the end of Nigeria. Are you doubting me? Write it down on a piece of paper. The mother of all wars is going to come. I don't care if you live in Kano, if you live in Kaduna, if you have a chemist, if you have a shop, if, you're, if you have a, a hotel in Jalingo. That's your business. Fulani cannot be intimidating us every blessed year. Taking our land, raping our mothers, and nothing ever happens. That rubbish has come to an end. This army will come to Biafra and they will die there. We want them. You know, when we say, I said yesterday, don't allow any police officer to fire. In, 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 uh, in, you know, the, the, some of these governors are very stupid, very, very useless. In order to counter what I did, they went to Aba, the army, they were shooting up. This is how foolish they are. They are like little school children. Squabbling, petty, little school, kindergarten babies. I said let there be clean up. Youths across Nigeria accepted that they will clean up the streets today. Omahi came and said there will be no clean up that a boy is clean. But people don't listen to him. They know where they take their command from. People came out to clean the streets. As they were cleaning near a Bakliki police station, they opened fire. As usual. 
and then uh, and Akuja, just a very just small lesson, not not big lesson. Just we taught them just a small over a lesson, just small something tiny, so that they may know. Now they have uh, bringing people from 82 division in Nugu and from Makro. The 3,000 men are coming from Makro into our land to kill. When the eyes of the world, even Martin Luther King the Third, have spoken about killings, what they are hoping to do is to bribe Yoruba media. To, of course, their own BBC, but it's a new colonialist establishment. And of course, channels will report it. Uh, CNN won't. So what they are planning to do is to come to Biafra land. They, they see the hotbed of this very revolution as being in Biafra. That's what they are thinking. That's what they are thinking. After all, in the far north, they are not doing anything. It's just now that they, they have discovered COVID-19 warehouses that are now coming out. If the people that came out in Jos and in Kaduna to fight for a bag of rice and the canon of Indomie, if they can descend on Abuja, Nigeria will come, not Nigeria will come to an end, things will change for good. But they are black people. When you want to talk sense to them, they start gossiping. The only thing they are worried about is their stomach. So I am telling Burata is not alive. Forget all that nonsense. Have you seen him? Give life present to you, of course not. He's not alive. So whoever is sending this army down to the east in the name of one Nigeria, I want to remind you that the almighty British that was part of the alliance that defeated Hitler, Israel blew them out of the land of Israel. Egon, headed by Menachem Begin, blew the British out of the Holy Land. And the state of Israel was established. I am warning Fulani Janja with you people are very stupid because you're not sensible, you're not reasonable. Fulani Janja with, let me tell you one thing. And I, you know, people say, oh, you what can I put your That is rubbish. I don't hide anything. I tell you what I'm going to do. To tell you how powerful we are i tell you what we are going to do before we do it so you can do everything you can to stop us did we not clean an umbra state today did we not clean a boy instead clean backlick didn't you go to Enugu and see the cleanup didn't you go to abba and see the cleanup i don't know if Omar, i didn't get any report no they did clean up in Omar actually but they did not they did not protest so you didn't see the cleanup everywhere in lagos and in abuja you didn't see it so you did not see the cleanup happening? <laughs> Under one command. Only one, not two, not three, not four. One central command. You know what funny? The, the funny thing is that these young people, they're very intelligent. They know people that serve their interest. They know people that will best represent or defend their aspirations. Britain is sending the army to Biafra land in the hope of starting another round of genocide to suppress this very revolution. They see the catalyst, the engine, is Biafra land. The whole of Biafra land, though, please, for information. That's why they're deploying there. They did not send any troops to Sokoto. Troops were not sent to, to Katsina to fight for any banditry and criminality. They are sending them to the east. Britain wants to secure its oil and gas free of charge. Britain do not buy oil and gas from Nigeria. They suck it for free. A pipeline was laid at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean from the coastal region of Biafra to Exeter in England. Free gas and free oil. Since the late 1950s. That was why they instituted the Willings Commission. That was why idiots like Wike was raised to say, although I am evil, I am not evil. You see <laughs> how they play with your minds. And that uh, they found a willing tool in the fat pig, dirty stinking, spitting fat pig in the creek. A traitor. 
they raise their traitors, as Britain always does. You then must raise accomplices. There must be traitors within. And IPOB, no, Chukwu Kikabiyama determined that IPOB should come. And we are saying to hell with everybody. Fulani, Janjaweed, hmm. this army you're sending to Biafra land, they would die there. As I'm speaking tonight, today is the 26th of um, October. By the time now is 26 minutes past 7 p.m. in the evening. Write it down. This army you're sending will die there. And Nigeria will have no army. <laughs> Then uh, Boko Haram and ISIS, <laughs> when they catch your daughter, <laughs> maybe Allah Haji Inua or whatever your name is, when they catch your daughter, <laughs> they'll be playing ping pong with her. But because you're a stupid black African idiot, you will not know that you compromise the security of the north by sending a ragtag army to the south. Because as we kill the Nigerian army, they will send many more to come. <laughs> don't you know that they are very foolish because Britain must secure their free oil and their free gas using the Fulani all your governors are terrified rabbits you think you have a governor in Biafra land hey, hey, hey. <laughs> then you are even more foolish than I thought these are rabbits okay okay cowards to the core they cannot even do you know what they're doing to them today instead of look at the way that the Yoruba governors got together and issued a statement and a stand on the end SARS protest and the accompanying violence which they themselves instigated some of you idiots don't know that it was the government who started who, who, who allowed the protest to degenerate into violence you saw their thugs didn't you but of course you are black people you will forget <laughs> this UG black Yoruba governors sat together, got together actually, and issued a statement. You saw them together behind the camera. You, all of you saw them. Do you know what they're doing in the in the in Biafra land? They invite that idiot in weekend. He will board plane. He will go to Abuja. Only him will be sitting down there like 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 a like like a wretched guinea pig. A bows to be dissected by a science student. He will be there sitting there and he was surrounded by Alamaji and Janja with those around him. And then, what are you doing? Do something. Go to your people. Kill them. Do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I remember. You are the vice president oh, in 2023. Remember. Tambual, uh, your master is waiting for you. He said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you have to board plane and come back to you? But I'm talking rubbish. You think he's a human being. Next, they will call Omahi. One, one. They never. Ha when was the last time you heard that all the eastern governors traveled to Abuja together? No, never. They call them one after the other. If they call you, you bring your report card. They sit you down. What are you doing? IPOB is waxing strong in your domain. What are you trying to do? Oh, can't you see? Uh, they put IP IPOB said they will clean the streets, and uh, I, I countermanded it and I said no, don't clean for us. What is the problem today in Eboyi? This man, I'm not asking for any revenge to be carried out because I know the Janja weed. I know why the Fulanese policeman did what he did. He wanted to start mayhem in our land. And before he fired the shot, we know that signal was flowing from Abuja to Abakliki, which I'm even sure, I'm certain that Omahi knew nothing about. But I'm not exonerating him. And I want to let Omahi understand why this Janjaweed opened fire. That is what we've been teaching black people for very many years. How to reason. An average black person cannot reason properly. Do you see now that Nigerian youths have reasoned properly? Their eyes are now open. They can see all the atrocities that these so-called politicians have been wreaking on their lives for very many years. But prior to now, they were all blind. When Omar, he said that we, people should not come out to clean the streets because I gave the order 
Because I gave the order, they called him from Abuja and said, well, how can you be there? And then now they cannot be giving order to clean the street. Are you not the governor? Do something. They incited Obiano and Omahi against us. One thing they don't understand is that everybody is IPOB. Everybody is an indigenous person of Biafra. But as a global movement, we are indigenous people of Biafra. Everybody is a Biafran. And I'm sure even by now, Nigerian youths are also Biafrans as well by their reasoning and their action. Because um, they are no longer prepared to take the rubbish that the zoo has been dishing out. Now listen to what happened and why the shot was fired today in the back league. In Abia State, I'm sure that um, whoever was speaking for uh, Ibarazo must have told the army, please don't shoot her. But because Nam the Kano said, if you fire any shot, please shoot it up in the air. And these are people, who, instead of working for a better life and a new nation for our people, where democracy and the rule of law will reign supreme, they are busy fighting IPOB for no reason. Was the clean up their idea? Of course it's not. It's the idea of IPOB. It wasn't the idea. I need you to understand something. But instead of them to keep quiet and allow this thing to go on and to say, oh, it's a good thing that now our streets are clean, they even have, you know, they be, you know, jealousy and envy is a very horrible thing. They were bickering like little children. How can we be there? And IPOB will take the glory of giving an order for cleanup nationwide and people are responding, I please, we must do something. Okay, Zipa has went in, or maybe told somebody, please write something. Abia State, tomorrow is public holiday. There's going to be clean up. How about the one we did today? Do you see how petty they are? They behave like little children. Omahi came out and went on a national paper, issued a press statement saying, Abakli, that the whole of the is clean already. We don't need anybody to clean it for us. And when the stupid Janjaweed heard that, he thought, since the governor is against the cleaning of the streets and these people are cleaning, the governor won't mind if I kill one or two of them. That was why he opened fire. And then they saw hell. I am sure that that police station, Abakliki, their pride and their joy, their central police station, it was breached. And we set it ablaze. Abayoko. And they were all on the run. In Ebo now, police have run away everywhere in Ebo State. They have run. That's why they, they are bringing army reinforcements from Enugu. And this, the, the, the retaliation wasn't even carried out by IPOB volunteers. It's people who are angry, people that came out to clean. Because IPOB volunteers did not come out to clean. They didn't come out today. If I bring them out on the stage, the zoo will come to an end. Because the army will come to come and do their grag. And it's Shehon and Allah. So I am warning Britain and I'm also warning the Fulani Janjawi. Fulani, Britain is misleading you. Because when your land turns into another Yemen, which is, is going to happen, of course, <laughs> the Yubo woman will be in England drinking tea. Those who cause the trouble in Syria are dead there. Those that cause the trouble in Somalia are dead there. Those that cause the trouble in Yemen are dead there. You, Fulani, you don't reason. You have people who are competing for the same geopolitical space. You have Boko Haram, you have ISIS, you have Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb, you have Fulani headsmen, you have Fulani bandits, you have Ansaru, you have Mieti Allah, and who goodness knows what else. Britain, that woman, Katrina Lang, is going to put all of you into trouble. Fulani, you people are foolish. You don't reason very well. This army you are moving to the south, they are going to be killed. I can assure you of that they will be decimated. They will be. And in the north, you will be left exposed to all the elements, the el to all the elements of Fulani terrorism and Janjawidism. All of you be consumed. When bandits go to Katsina to go and kill and abduct people, do they ask you if you're Fulani or not? 
I just want to educate the idiots in, in Asarok, those fools in Abuja, because you have no brain. You people are not strategic. Can you ask yourself, how come this IPOB, without any financial support from any billionaire, any governor, any politician, how did they manage to become the largest mass movement in the whole world? How? From tiny radio, people say I used to broadcast from my kitchen in, in London. Are you listening? Ask yourself how. Do you know why we became as potent as we, of course, due to the grace of the Most High? That's number one. God made it so we know. Because we are strategic. But our strategies are presented in such a way that it looks very funny. You don't think it is serious. That was why I said earlier long with one York, when IPOB comes up with a package, if you're looking at it, we disguise it in such a way that it doesn't look serious. It's funny. You say, oh, this is mistrust. But in the end, we always win. Have you ever asked yourself why? Because a lot of thought goes into what we do. But Fulani, you don't reason. You're only holding Nigeria together with terrorism, fear, and intimidation. Any day, as the young people have discovered, one day, the age bracket of maybe our age from 50 to 60 to 70 will realize that fear will go from their eyes. And any day it goes from their eyes, I'm telling you, Fulani, I'm telling you, the, so, the janja weed you have bred on the street, they are the ones who are going to kill you. Because they will know that you've been lying to them. You people are not strategic at all. You, you look behind you and there is Britain defending you. So you think you can do whatever you like and get away with it. You are storing up problems for yourself. You move this army to the south, this Nigerian army will die in the east. I write it down. Today's date is the 26th of October. Write it down on a piece of paper. When it happens, people say, oh, but, 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 but no, they cannot said it. Is there anything that I have said that hasn't come to pass? The answer is no. You are bringing your army to a certain death. And once Boko Haram, you can bribe Boko Haram all you like. They will take your money. They will use it to go and buy weapons. They will come back again and attack you. Because you're foolish. Because you think that money solves everything. You think that people can be bought. You idiots think that people can be bought. And do you know the funniest thing? It is only in the east, in Biafra land, that they are deploying this very army. Garba Sheikh said, oh, it's an, 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 the whole country that we know where they are coming to. And instead of your so-called politicians to say, why did you say that this exercise is nationwide and now you are focusing on Biafra land? They will never say it. Because they are afraid all of them were made by Fulani people in Abuja, as Britain taught them to. So you can control the people. The same way that Britain created Nigeria, making in competition with France. They made Nigeria to become, by amalgamating a lot of people, to become the most populous country or nation in Africa, or the most influential. That What Britain was planning is to make Nigeria the most influential country in Africa. So through Nigeria, they can control Africa. It's written down now, it's in their paper, is in the British government paper. That's what they said. We wanted to create a large country through which we can exert influence all over Africa. That's what they said. But being a black man I don't, or a black woman, I'm not sure that your brain can go that far to analyze and to understand the plans of the enemy. The same thing they're doing now. They want to use the cover of SARS and SARS to come to Biafra land because they know if they kill somebody in Biafra land, you can tweet all you like, you can write all you like, the world will not carry it. Because we, not enough of us is on social media. We win the wars we go into on social media, the battles we win, yes. But not enough of us is there. Both those in the diaspora, all of you must be on Twitter because Nigeria army is coming. Any atrocity they commit, for us to revenge and retaliate any action they take, the world needs to be convinced that they actually carried it out. 
And the things they're not going to hear from CNN, from, from, from TVC, from channels, or from AIT, or from NTA, it is for us to tell the world what is going on. Have you seen how the focus is on Lekki? Because it happened in Yoruba land, the killing of the protesters. Had it happened in Enugu, nobody would give it. Look at all, all those they killed in Enugu. Did anybody give a damn about them? Because you are a forgotten race, a forgotten people. We are suffering today because of the wretched idiots we have as politicians. All of them. What they are concerned about is self-preservation. It doesn't matter if Fulani takes over their village. Do you know that Tenungwa was under attack last night? I have the messages here. Somebody rang me in the middle of the night, around, around 12 to 1 a.m., that they are attacking Isi Alangwa. And after that, they are going to go to Surimo to attack as well. They were, please do something. But the governor of Abia State is an Angwa man. When I placed the bounty on the head of OKZ Bazo, Angwa people went to my village, their traditional rulers. They went to my village to go and complain to the traditional rulers there that I should leave their son alone. But one full and in the middle of yesterday night, who now Balegaraga full and we are busy killing in Isia Langwa. The Ungwa governor of Abia State did not say anything or send the army to go there because the army themselves they are in the south to aid the conquest, the Janjaweed conquest of the south. But some of you are daft and foolish, you don't know that's why they are there. Please, somebody should get me that video from Sumto's wall and put it on my wall. When I told you that the, everything I tell you is the truth, the army of Nigeria is there. Their job is to, follow, to aid the process of fulanization. But the idiots can never, ever see it. Do you know that OKZ Baz is an Ongwa man? Ongwa was under attack yesterday. And Ongwa, by the way, is one of the, if not the largest clan you have in the whole of Biafra land. Isi Alangwa was under attack. An Ongwa man said to me, my parents called me now, their life is in danger, please help us. I think he is somewhere in Europe. He said, please, please, our leader, do something now. Isi Alangwa is under attack. They did not call okay, Zip as they called IPOB. Because if you call OKZ Bazu, OKZ Bazu will only send the same army and the same police controlled by the Fulani. And once they arrive at the scene, the mayhem and the slaughter will intensify. The same thing that El Rufa used to do in Kaduna. And over the years, they managed to subdue the southern Kaduna people, mostly Christians terrorism and fear and if you overcome terrorism and fear they always want to drag you back to it so for them to be able to bring their army and their police to kill you they have to divide you as they tried to do today in a Boeing state so as we retaliated in a Boeing state then the air is in flames what is happening I thought you said is uh, the violence have stopped they forgot who was shot that's black people for you. The person that was shot, they forgot about the little boy. And the question is, what did he do? Nothing. He was cleaning. And the fallen he felt, how do we start trouble now between IPUB and um, Dave Omahi? So as they are fighting each other, then our army can come in into a boy state. And once our army comes in, that IPUB just away can return and use the cover to kill people and occupy our land. But you have to be reasonable and sensible to understand this or to understand exactly what transpired in Abakliki today. So we said, rather than going to look for Umahi to punish him because people wanted to go to his hotel to burn it down tonight. We want to do to him what we did to Tunu, what Nigerian youths, before they start crying, what Nigerian youths did to Tinubu in Lagos. Therefore, Mahi was in line to get it tonight. We know his hotel, 
We want to go and burn it down tonight. Until the confirmation came that the man fired at this young man cleaning the road because he wanted to start a war between IPOB and not a war because Dave Omar is only alone with uh, those thugs they hired. Uh, how many are there? About 16. Why didn't the thugs come out today to defend them? When I speak, they say, oh, you have abandoned them. Uh, peace. We were doing peace now. Before, we were peaceful. We are doing peace and you came to Paul, you killed us. Peaceful, you went to, to National High School in Aba and you killed us. Peaceful, and you came to my house and you killed many people and you also killed my parents. We were being peaceful. Isn't it? Always peaceful. And the more peaceful you are in Nigeria, the more they kill you. Why are they listening to the young people now in Nigeria? Because they said enough is enough. If you kept writing all your useless petitions, setting up this and setting up that and talking rubbish every blessed day on the pages of newspapers and TV, do you think that the zoo would have considered? Do you think so? No. They don't understand peace. They are not peacemakers. That is why they are not blessed. For blessed are those who are peacemakers. They are not. Fulani is not, uh, is not a peacemaking um, tribe. No, they are not. And it is astonishing that some of you have not seen this. So the idiot in Ebony killed somebody today in the hope of igniting the destruction of Ebony State. Or the destruction of Devo, his properties. Until the clarifications came. And under the cover of that, as they were panicking, I am sure it was the governors, they called themselves, can you see what is happening in Abakaliki? I thought they said, there is no more violence. They picked up the phone and they called the same Fulani commanders of Nigeria army that have been killing their people. That's how selfish they are. But some of you do not know. Because um, you are on 2,000 Naira... Uh, data recharge every week. Stipend they pay you every week. 2,000 naira. You people are in a mess. You people are in a mess. Absolute mess. Tell me why the governor should be in competition with IPUB. Just explain to me. A battle, a war they know they can never win. Not in a trillion years, they can never win. Any little thing, they run to, you know, like, like, uh, uh, what's the, what's, uh, uh, like a warrant chief in those days. Remember things fall apart. When Okonkwo killed the traitor, the Sabo, oh, may God bless and rest the soul of Chinua Achebe. Even inside things fall apart of all books, Igbo man straightly was there looking at you in the face. They went and brought white man because they were in a church. And this man, Okonkwo, is a traditionalist. He wants to defend the honor of the land. They went and called white man to come and kill him. Okonkwo killed the stupid white man and killed the idiot. That is Sabotua. Go and let things fall apart. Ibo man, Sabo, Sabo Han is a, is a great one. He's in, their, he's in their bone marrow. That is why he, sometimes when they cannot sabotage something, they start gossiping. Oh, those masabon uh, uh, that's what they do. An evil man is a is a is a living traitor, a saboteur. Sabo, sabo. Any day he gets upset, or uh, uh, they will go to Fulan, they will spill everything that they know. Is even in things fall apart. Dave Omahe and the governors, they do not reason very well. They are foolish. They are very, very daft. They are the ones that now called the same army that killed their people that is making us upset why we treat them the way we do. They still picked up the phone and called them to come. And most of them are on their way from its division in Enugu going to Abakalike to bring back Mieti Allah and to take our land from us. But when our mothers were raped and killed in Ebony State, the same way they were killed and raped in Igbocha, 
Nike did not call the army. Umayi did not call the army. But any day we rise up to go and defend our mothers and our daughters, they call the army to come and kill us. Bring that video and post it on my page. Nike called police in his stupidity, in his foolishness. The people, the police that he called now went and called terrorists, foreign terrorists, to go and attack Obibu. You can see the police standing there watching them, killing people. And tomorrow you call them intelligentsia, intellectuals, the elite, the political class. Only if you're dumb, only if you are foolish. What we are saying is very, very simple. Very, very simple. They are there on Apopo. They can kill people they meet on the streets. People who are unarmed. But as soon as they come into our land now, we go into the bushes. And that is the end of Nigeria. And I'm warning those of you living in Kano, in Kaduna, in Zaria, in Sokoto, oh, I'm the one, Kano wants to put us in trouble. Oh. We are always the scapegoat. Oh. We are the scapegoating out. Oh. Rubbish. And I call you in your... As much as I love all of you, and I want you to be alive to see Biafra. In fact, to come back to Biafra land. You're living in the north or elsewhere. Outside Biafra land is not going to stop us from doing what we have to do to ensure that we survive as a people. Britain wants to use the cover of NSARS and send the army into the east because they know that Yoruba media will not cover any slaughter or carnage in the east. They know it very well. Yoruba media won't cover it. Nobody will cover it. And unless you are on Twitter, unless you're on Facebook and on social media, you are finished. They will kill and nobody will hear about it. That is why our dear sister that we appointed as the Twitter czar must go to work immediately. Let me see if I can give you her name. She's in America. She's a very, she's a, she's a young lady. Um, she's an American and she's a lawyer actually. She's an attorney, as they call them in America. Now, listen very carefully. What is her name again? I want to give you her name because she started work already, but I want to give you her name so you understand who she is and the need to give her your cooperation. Her name is Uchen Okurafu. I don't like this uh, Caroline or Caroline thing. Her name is Uchen Okurafu in Texas. She is our, she's an attorney, she's a lawyer in America. She is our Twitter czar. She's going to make sure that everybody is on Twitter. And she is also going to appoint some people all over the world to make sure that each and every IPOB family member is on Twitter. Because they are, the army of Nigeria is coming and they are going to kill us. And if we are not on Twitter, the world will not know about it. And if the world doesn't know about it and we retaliate or revenge, they will say we are terrorists. Do you understand it? There is something called provocation. You need to understand the game, how it's played. If you listen very carefully to us and follow what we tell you, if not for the idiots that went uh, looking for palliative and doing well, well, blocking those and doing what they were asked not to do, by now, by now, you will begin to see the end of Nigeria because it's, I, we've gone into the third week. But they left what they were supposed to do. They started pursuing Indomie, pursuing rice, pursuing good. And engaged in wanton destruction of lives and properties, which is a no-no in a revolution. I told you, I told you, they will make the cowards to turn against you. They will make the cowards to turn against you. Oh, uh, he said, uh, uh, there is an, one, one person that I used to read. Uh, I, I, I go to my feed and I see him and I, and I read what he writes. If you see the way he was talking, oh, any good street light is down. Is this what we are here for? Hey, God help us. So, so, and I said, it's a revolution. Shut up, it's a revolution. There are bound to be collateral damage here and there. That's how it is. Stop whining like an idiot. And he's an intellectual. <laughs> intellectual, my foot. Now, 
The Nigerian army have released 3,000 men from Makrodi to march into our land to start killing so that the Fulani Mieti Allah can take over our land under the guise of Crocodile Smile. They're in a hurry because 2023 is around the corner. If we are not all, I don't care who you are, if, you are, if we are not, all of us, if we are not on Twitter, following those you're supposed to follow, of course, it is compulsory that once you open a Twitter account, you must follow Radio Biafra and you must follow me. It is compulsory. Compulsory. Once you open it, you must follow us. Why do you think that Twitter hasn't verified my account? Because once they verify, people will know that this is the authentic Nam the Khan, Mazin Nam the Khan account. Requests will come from everywhere. People will start following. So they withdrew it. Not that they would they actually said they will not give it because Nigeria paid them money. We've asked them repeatedly why the blue tick. They said no, keep keep uh, keep doing your job. But meanwhile, DSS created about five fake Maze Nam the Kano account on Twitter. And Twitter allowed it. You are surrounded by enemies. And for you to survive, you cannot think like any other group of people. You must think the Biafran way. Your reasoning must change. You must look for ways to circumvent any obstacle they put or place in front of you. Because they are not going to carry our news. That army is coming. They will land maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow. They are going to kill us. If we are not all on Twitter... Nobody will remember anything that happened or about to happen in a Boeing state. We must all be on Twitter. We must all be on. So that once, it's just like the, do you know why the world is not interested in the violence? The, the zoo tried, the Britain tried and tried and tried with BBC and CNN to push the narrative. Uh, nothing happened. Nobody was killed. People are just being violent. They tried. But once the world saw that video of the massacre live, people dying live, they can see, you know, these are white, you cannot deceive them. They are not as stupid as black people. You can't deceive them. Once they saw that the army was busy killing people, you know what they said? Mitigating circumstances. Those that went to look for Bola Ahmed, the Tinubu, we are provoked by the scenes by the carnage at the toll gate so that justified in their anger so that is why the effort of Britain to sell the narrative that they were being violent and all that did not wash because in, I think I saw the, even the Irish I thank those of you those Nigerian youths in Ireland I thank all of you the Irish Prime Minister spoke the Tishok. he spoke about the NSAS protest and warned the Nigerian government not to kill civilians so what the what Britain now said is this. Britain said to the Fulani army, if you deploy to the west and kill people, Yoruba are their media savvy. And almost every Yoruba, in fact, every Yoruba person with a smartphone is on social media and they follow each other. Now listen. They know that the Yoruba people they run almost all the media in the zoo. The people doing the killing there from the north if you go to the north and you do any killings and you kill people anyhow or you kill terrorists or bandits, the ordinary people will rise against you. So Britain said to them, the best people to kill now are Igbo people. This meeting was held last week, Saturday. Are you listening to me? Britain said the best people for you to kill if you want to kill people and take over their land, the best people to kill are Igbo people, but by that I mean the entire Biafra land. Go to Biafra. Kill them and take their land. Do you know why? The world media will not carry it. They themselves, they are not media savvy. They don't know how to use social media very well. So when you kill them and you're taking over their land and they complain or they retaliate, now we will now tell channels television, we will tell Punch newspaper, who tell Sahara reporters that they are terrorists. That the terrorists, the, what we prescribe the IPOB and the terrorists, they are now attacking the Nigerian army. Do you see the game they play? That's how they play the game. You have to be intelligent to understand this. 
I am on Twitter. This, you can see what Facebook is doing. Facebook told me, Koro Koro, open eye. We are going to suppress your page. They told me, ho oh, ha, we are going to do it. And that's why we're taking them to court. They told me, we will suppress your page. They don't do it. They've been holding Radio Biafra at 600 and is it 79,000 followers since for the past four years, five years. You are surrounded by enemies. You need to think differently. If we are all, all of us, if we refuse to be on Twitter, if we refuse to show our mothers and our fathers in the villages how to use social media, at least to click and say retweet and to like. If we don't show them these two simple things to do with an innocuous mobile phone, Britain will help the Fulani take over our land. Britain will help the Fulani and they will do it in broad daylight. Because Yoruba media is not prepared to cover it all. CNN will not cover. BBC will not be there. But BBC will, any day you retaliate, BBC will be there to interview Nigerian soldiers. Now you understand how they play this game? That is why we, everybody must be on social media. Everybody, every, once you have a smartphone, because now nobody's going to ask for your phone anymore. If uh, what they're saying is true, nobody can stop because SARS is gone. Nobody can stop and say, bring your phone. That one is gone. So you can download Radio Biafra app. You can download uh, IPOB Community Radio. In fact, IPOB Community Radio is number one. Then Radio Biafra app, number two. Then if you want to listen via tuning and all the rest of them, you can download them. But you, you must also be on Twitter. Twitter. Because Instagram is for slay queens and slay kings. They are not serious. You must be on Twitter. Always. And you are tweeting, you are talking to prime ministers, you are talking to heads of state. Personally, can you imagine Queen Elizabeth opening her phone or her aide opening her phone and her Twitter handle has 20,000 messages, retweets on a particular topic. How do you think she will react? She will say, oh, please tell me what's, what's happening, what's going on. And they'll tell her. That is the potency of Twitter. And in Twitter, because of the format, you cannot, uh, the room for gossip is not that much. Because you only write about how many characters and you're, you're stopped. It's not like Facebook, where you can gossip your life away. We must be there. Let me tell you why we all need to be on Twitter. If we go onto Twitter, the Nigerian army is coming. They will arrive either tomorrow or next. They are coming to kill and for fall and to take over our land. That's what they are doing. If you doubt me, look at the look at the video that I, I alluded to earlier. When they come, they will start killing us, and uh, Miyetiela will return to Ebony State and they'll start to rape our mothers. Those things, those hideous crimes, we need to alert the world. We need to tell the world what is happening. So that when our men retaliate, their retaliation will be justified. So that when they now go to, let's say, the Irish Prime Minister and say, Oh, can't you see? No, the county is a terrorist. IPB is a terrorist. They are attacking the Nigerian army. The Prime Minister of Ireland will say to them, But you... The army was there as these women were being raped by Fulani people and you did nothing. Because the Prime Minister of Ireland is a white man, not a black man. You know, black people support evil. You know, we love evil a lot. That is the reason why you have forgotten those that are at, at the toll gate in Lake. That is how evil people are. As I said, people come to me, oh, can you de-escalate? And I said, listen, Everybody the army and police have killed unjustly since 1960, they must be compensated and their families and investigated in the open. Because my orientation is different. When I see martyrs and heroes, people who died for you to be free, the same reason why we brought back 30th of May as a memorial for our fallen heroes. How can somebody go and sacrifice his life to make your life better? And within two days, you've forgotten that person. 
Two days in Kitty. They have forgotten the victims. And some idiots were writing rubbish as usual. That is why we must all be on Twitter. Very, very important that we are all on Twitter. We must be on Twitter compulsory. Compulsory. On Twitter compulsory. Special announcement to this is, uh, is the Abia State. Following the inauguration of Abia State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on alleged allegations of extrajudicial killings, brutality by security operatives in Abia State, victims are hereby advised to submit complaints to the panel. The same thing we submitted to ICC for God knows how many years now. You know, ICC is being run by one Igbo man and one woman. I don't know if she's from Cameroon. Two black people. If you give them money, they throw away your file. This UG black. They are busy prosecuting white people in Yugoslavia, in here and there. But to come and treat police brutality in Africa, they cannot do it. Black people in this UG black. Full of evil. Oh, Suji is there. Evil man at ICC. When you saw him, hey, evil man is there. Hey, ICC. For a year. The next day, he went to Asorok and Jubilee gave him money. He went back. Tomorrow, he'll come and tell I'm an intellectual. We are the intellectuals, the elite. Uh, after all, I, I, I have been the president of ICC. But you are of no use to your people. You're like Obama Biasika. Obama Biasika was a well read man, oh, learned. Oh. Sika, very intelligent, I must tell you. I must give him that. Leonard, very erudite, can speak very well. He was a lecturer at the University of Ibadan during the war. Very brilliant, but he was against his own people. The same way that Osuji is doing at ICC. And I'm sure when he goes to the village now, all of you will be trooping in to go and see him. You don't know he's a waste of space. Complete and utter waste of space. Our case is there. And now today, the other state is saying, that we must submit petition. We want this panel to sit in the open. You people are daft. We want an open hall with cameras, everything, showing it. And the video of the invasion of my house is going to be played at this very panel that I have set up, that the world may see it. You must say that you are somewhere before the world will acknowledge that you are actually there. Nobody will report the killings that are about to happen or that is about to happen in the next few days in a Boy state, in a Nugu state, and the surrounding areas. And they will never, they will never look for, for Mieti Allah terrorists, for the bandits. No, they have come to fight IPOB because IPOB is stopping the Fulani from taking over our land. And they are not happy in Sokoto. The Sultan of Sokoto is not happy. Those that run the zoo, they are not happy. They are not happy. Why is IP? They, 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 are, they have only two more years to go to wrap it up. Uruga, um, um, Fulani Colony, Fulani Highway for cattle. Another, why is IPOB stopping us? Now they are bringing the army to finish it off. And uh, the governors you have in the east, they are busy trying to uh, save their skins or to impress their Fulani masters. And their land is being taken over. If you say, oh, oh please. I remember what Ibazo said when they came to my house to kill me. And they killed 28 of our men. Ibazo said, if not, it is either the life of Unam the Kano or the life of Igbo people trading in Kano. Because the Fulanis called them and said to them, if you do not support the killing of Namdekano and his parents, then we will allow Alamajiri to attack Igbo traders in Kano. That's all. I give you an example again why I know that Nigeria is a very awful, wicked place and why Yoruba media is evil. You know me, I say the truth. Yoruba media is evil. Do you know that go online and Google Fulani, Fulani attack. Uh, no, no. Fulani is under attack in Port Harcourt. You go watch as the case may be. And then you Google Fulani attack against Igbo businesses. 
because of this end SARS protest. Because people are protesting in the South. Fulani Janjaweed and the Alamajiri stupid, idiotic, Kawasa Alamajiri idiots follow them to attack Igbo businesses in Kano. Are you listening? Did you read about it anywhere? Did it uh, appear on, is on my page? Did it appear on Channel TV? No. Because you, to them, you are irrelevant. They all want you dead anyway. All of them, they all want you dead. And you are in the north. And because of that threat, do you know if this end SARS campaign had started from core Igbo land? Let me put it that way. For where, for where you will see them crying, you're risking our life, our businesses. Oh, tell those idiots so what they're doing. Because it is from, I mean, the impetus. The injection of momentum was the Lagos protest. Since it is Lagos and it's Nigerian people doing it, now that Igbo businesses are being destroyed in Kano, nobody's complaining. <laughs> I do you understand it. As soon as we held Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that idiot responsible for the death at the toll gate, they started jumping up and down. Now the Kano is risking our lives. He's risking our lives. That is how Igbo people reason. And that is what turned them into cowards. And the Fulani have now realized where to hold them. Any little thing, they will just tell the governors, remember you have over 2 million people in the north. We will kill them. And they start panicking. We will do another genocide. Oh, what happened before is going to happen again. Oh? And sometimes I wonder if these people reason at all. I, I, I doubt it. If they reason at all. So you don't know that that is called blackmail. Because of your people living in Kanu and in Kaduna, you people are going to be slaves to the Fulani forever. Because of people living in Kanu and Kaduna, in Bauchi and in Medugri, Mieti Allah will take over our land. Fulani will take over our land. Are you people not hearing what I'm saying? Because anytime we retaliate, you will see Yoruba papers, they will carry, um, oh, Colonel Musa Idris killed by IPOB in a boy. Trying so very subtly, trying to incite. In, in fact, when, when the funniest thing is that if if the Janjaweed and Alamajiri in Kanu can kill Igbo people when Osama bin Laden's hideout was being bombed in Afghanistan, how about when a Fulani army officer is killed in a Bakili? And now listen to this very simple thing, this, this, this perverseness. Because Igbo traders are in, or Igbo not traders, these are businessmen. Because Igbo businessmen are in Kanu and in Bauji and in Kaduna and in Zaria, because of that, a Fulani soldier can come out on the streets of Aba and kill 10 people tonight and nothing will happen. Once you retaliate, the next thing that you will see, Yoruba papers, they will carry it. Um, uh, uh, Fulani officer slain. Gallant Nigerian soldier slain. Idris Abubakar. And the slaughter will begin in the north. And Ohaneze will issue a statement. We condemn what Namdekanu is doing. We condemn IPOB. Because they don't know the game that their enemies are playing. Do you understand it? Somebody has been shot dead today in a back league. Do you think you read about it tomorrow? Well, go to a battle and kill somebody. Every newspaper will carry it. I remember when I was arrested. Most of the Yoruba newspapers were saying, he serves him right. He serves him right. But when Shawara came to do revolution now and was arrested, all of them, even punch newspapers, had to change their editorial policy to be referring to the, to the Nigerian government as a regime. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Isn't it very ironic that that same revolution that we pioneered is now sweeping across Nigeria because we are truthful people. What I'm telling you is the truth. What we are telling you is the very simple truth. Go and investigate it. If you like, now go to, go to, I'm not asking you to, go to a battle now and kill somebody tonight. 
By tomorrow, Tribune will carry it, Punch will carry it, Vanguard will carry it. Every paper will carry it in Lagos and Abuja. But this person killed in a Boeing state today, none of them will carry it. Do you see why you have to be on Twitter? Because when they kill us, we need to tell the world. And once we tell the world, our volunteers can go to work and retaliate. So when you shout, they are terrorists, so they will tell you, shut up. We have seen all the atrocities we've been committing against them. I asked you before, why do you think that despite the number of learned people we have in Biafra land, Biafra has not been recognized as a genocide? What Britain and the Fulani did in our land? And some Yoruba for that matter. Do you know why? Because you people don't you 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 don't have your priorities right. Do you know we are the ones pushing for Biafra? Do you, do you know what IPUB does? When we came, we were the ones that made Microsoft to recognize Biafra as a state. That is why if you go to Google and you type in Biafra, you will see Biafra flag and it will tell you it is a state, which means it is a nation. Is there go? Who made it? Which people made it possible? IPOB and the role that Carol Monde played, of course, in all of this. We kept battling. We, we he, he, the same Biafrans, though we are calling us names, we, we never relented. We battled and we battled and we battled and we battled until if you write Biafra, Microsoft no longer underline it in red. What have you done? What have you done? If you go to Google then and you type in Biafra, they'll just uh, tell you, just bring out a flag and say defunct. Defunct. Republic. The secessionist republic. Uh, defunct. The secessionist um, 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 republic in, in Nigeria. But now... Let me actually do it. Go to Google and you type in Biafra. People are still asking, what has IPOB in this huge in the Bible? Then I go, idiots. Biafra is a state. Look at it. Biafra is a state. It's a nation, like the state of Israel. We made it possible with nothing. Now, if everybody is on Twitter, we are going to defeat BBC Ibo. We are going to defeat NTA. We defeat channels. We defeat CNN. We defeat even the monster itself, BBC. When I was telling you Nigerian... No, not the youths are now sensible. When I was telling Nigerians before that BBC is evil, they didn't believe me. Did you believe me then? None of you did. Until a punion and lucky told it. Then you knew that BBC is actually evil. <laughs> we know that they hate us. We are the most hated race in all of Africa by the British. Britain hates Biafra with a passion. Britain is doing the work of Lucifer. The same way that Fulani is doing the bidding of, of Britain is how Britain is doing the bidding of the devil. Because, let me tell you why. You know, some of you are not very spiritual. Biafra is the light. Biafra is the light of black people all over the world. As long as you, you hold that light down, as long as you cover it and not allow it to shine, black people all over the world will remain slaves. Britain realized this thing in the 15th century. That was why even then they had a consular mission to Biafra. They sent an emissary to Biafra in 1432 or thereabout. Are you listening to me? Britain realized that Biafra is the light of the whole world. And when they came to our land, they took our people to their school. After learning, our people studied history and came back and asked the teacher, the white teacher, how about our own history? Do you know what the British said to, the, to our people then? You have no history. But they destroyed Arochuku in 1904, the temple. 
When Britain destroyed our temple in 1904, our temple, the Temple of the Most High, where we used to worship Elohim, before the Jukun came through slavery, and the same thing that the same thing that your politicians are doing today used to happen in Arochuku in those days, where our high priest will start selling people. The same way that our governors are selling us to Fulani today, our high priest in Arochuku they sold us to Jukun people, and they used to pass through Enugu. You send your son to go to Arochuku to go and learn how to worship God, because every family then used to send your first child to Arochuku to go and learn how to worship God. When you come back, they give you the offer of the family or offer of the clan or the hamlet. They, you just don't grow up and they give you the offer. You have to study the word of the ancients. You have to go to Arochuku. And you know the feast they used to carry out in Israel. People used to go and go to Arochuku to go and do a feast. They take goats, they take cow, they take everything. They slaughter in Arochuku and offer sacrifice to God. When people like Dave Umahi and all the eastern governors took over the priesthood at Arochuku, they, be, they started doing 419. They started selling their own people. You send your child to Arochuku, your child will disappear. The same thing that Saz Okozi is doing. The man at Saz Okozi is an evil man. The people said, you ask the priest, but where are my children? This village sent seven men here to study. What happened? They sold them to Jukun people. Jukun will now sell to Hausa. Hausa will now sell to Arab. Igbo people. Oh. So if you go today to Kuwait, you will see black people. If you go to Iran, you will see black people. If you go to Iraq, you will see black people. Those people came from Biafra land. Sold through Arochuku. There is a place at Nike in Enugu. That, is, that used to be their stopover. You know the where they drive cattle. They move cattle from. That you, at, there was a market at Nike. The same way you have a market at Inozakole called Ahia Ababu in Ozakole. Ahia Ababu in Ozakole is where they sell the auction slaves, their fellow brothers and their fellow sisters, so that the white man can buy them. From Arochuku, we started selling people. We sold people to Jukun. Jukun sold to Hausa. Hausa sold to Arabs. That is how you have blacks in the Arab, in the core Arabian Peninsula. They are Igbo people. Now, let me tell you what happened. And God got very upset. And God said, this is the cause we are under till today. And God said, because Elohim said, kidnapping and selling somebody is an abomination. You know, people don't know the Bible very well. When they see slave obey your master, it was the English, the old English, the English of King James. What they mean by slave is a servant. After all, if you're a servant, you're a slave. You're going to do anything that your master asks you to do. But some of these new age pastors, in their name, they have no brain. They say, oh, slave, you, you, they are referring to slave. No, it's a servant. When I take you as a servant, which we do till this very day, which is in the Bible, of course, you know, you take somebody and you train them for seven years. The apprenticeship scheme is in the Bible. Go and read it. Seven years. Apprentice. Seven years, which we practice till today. If you do that apprenticeship, are you not going to be loyal to your organ? Go to an HR market tomorrow, you see them. People that went and brought their relatives to come and do apprenticeship, which has been now been recognized the world over as the fastest and the largest wealth creator anywhere in the black world. Ibo Dibo. What is Odibo? Is Odibo not a slave? Now, let us leave that and come back to Arochuku. In Arochuku, the high priest will come out, maybe Dave Umahi, okay, Zibazu, with their garb, you know, they dress. They are holy men. They will pronounce they will give um, um, spiritual edicts, they will make pronouncements, prayers will be offered you come in and they capture you and they give you to Jukun people to transport, and they used to transport through Enugu at Nike, the market is still there, I've forgotten the name and the Arabs bought us and that is how we ended up in Iraq some of us, in Iraq today you have black people in Iraq, in Iran the same thing in Kuwait, I saw with my two naked eyes black people in Kuwait they were actually the ones that fought Saddam Hussein when Saddam invaded Kuwait. If you follow history very well. And God was upset. And God 
cost the Igbo nation. God cost the Biafran people. I will scatter you all over the world. The same thing that happened to Jews in Israel. I will scatter you all over the world. I will bless you. You will make money. Wherever you go to, you will bring in Jerusalem. There will be light there. But where you come from, you will not recognize it. Now, I am giving you two lectures this evening. I am lecturing you that our wickedness did not start today. And I'm telling you that the same curse God placed on Israel, God placed on Biafra. The same thing. And God said, you are going to fight amongst yourselves. The same way that in Israel in those days, the northern kingdom, why was Israel conquered anyway by the Babylonians? The Assyrians and Babylonians. Because after the death of Solomon, Israel divided into two. Once you have division, that is why when I preach this gospel and I say that this non-Niger, I, I don't want to hear it. People don't understand. I go back to the Bible and I have seen in the Bible what division of a nation does to a people. Israel divided after the death of Solomon into the northern kingdom, Samaria, and Judea. Do you understand? Both of them are Israel. The same way you have South, South, and Southeast. Igbo and Niger Delta. Two of them is Biafra. But once you divide them, as they did in Israel, the northern kingdom now started answering Samaria. No longer the name that Elohim gave them, which is you are my prince. That is the meaning of the word Israel. You are, my, you are the prince of God. Now, the same thing afflicting Biafran people and Igbo people happened. They divided into two. They had their own south-south, which is Israel, which is Judea, and the north, and their own north-north, which is um, Samaria. And once they are divided, their two armies can no longer combine. They were even fighting themselves. The Assyrians came from the north, and <laughs> in fact, the Babylonians came. Bah, 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 bah. So, Fulani needs the division of Biafra land into Niger Delta and the southeast. They need the division of Biafra land into south, south, and the Igbo. They need a job. Oh, a job, be on your own, you're on your own. No? Igbo, be on your own. No? I'm, I'm, I'm a VPO. Oh, don't bring that to Biafra thing here. Oh. The Fulani man needs it to conquer you. If you doubt me, you go to the Bible. Once you're divided, you're finished. Britain knew this very well. When Britain got to Arochuku, Britain smiled and said, okay, this is the children of God they've been talking about. And when they got to Sude in Enugu state, they said, hey, hallelujah. And some of them came from, his, from Egypt. Having built the pyramid in Egypt, they have now built it also at Nsude. You know what Britain did? Britain took all the notes they took, they destroyed all of them. They destroyed it. And when our fathers asked them, where is our own history? Britain said, you have no history. You have no history. And our temple was burnt down, destroyed in 1904, completely and erased from the face of this very earth. Because God said, I will destroy this very temple because you have desecrated it. I will scatter you all over the world as I did to the Jews of Israel. You are going to suffer. You will be persecuted. You will cry and nobody will hear your cry. I will divide family. I will divide clans within. That is why despite the fact that Ibibio is Igbo, little Igbo, that's the meaning of the word Ibibio. Ibibio said they are not Igbo. We are not Biafra. Despite the fact that Anang is a brother to Igbo, Anang says I don't want Biafra. Despite the fact that Ephik came from Ibibio, Ephik says, No, I'm not Ibibio. Hey, I'm Ephik, oh, my own Ephik nation. This is the curse that God placed on you. And I want you to understand the reason why we call Elohim Chukukika Biyama all the time and why we are successful, whereas others have failed. Because when we started and I went to Jerusalem to pray, and I said to Elohim when I was praying, and you know what God said to me? Only call me by my name. Worship me and me alone. And you see what will happen to IPOB. And you see where we are today. And I'm the Lord your God. Go and tell your people to come back to me. 
That was why I prayed the atonement prayer of 2015. How I prayed that prayer, to be honest with you, I don't know. I, if you ask me to replicate the potency of the prayer of 2015, I cannot do In fact, or form, I find, somebody should find this from somewhere. Put it in audio format or video and put it on my wall. If you listen, it wasn't me who was praying. I don't know who was praying. I have no idea. Go and hear atonement prayer of 2015. Anybody who hears it is a hardcore IPOB family member now. You cannot hear it and your life will remain the same. Why am I making all these detours this evening? I'm making it to draw one simple point. If you are not on Twitter, our land will perish. Fulani will come in and they will kill us and they will take it over. And don't say I did not warn you. We must tell the world what they are doing. Because Elohim cursed the land of Biafra. That is why somebody, a bloated pig, his son will be there shouting and talking. He is more closely related to a Janjaweed because of an alien religion than to his own flesh and blood. That is the curse of God. It happened in the Bible. Go and read it very carefully. The Jews behaved exactly the same way. And once you're divided, the enemy will devour you. And Britain knew this. That was why Britain, before they left, Britain said, we are concerned about the minorities, you know. The evils will dominate them. So we must have a commission of inquiry to protect the minorities. But Britain never told you that Fulani is a minority in the north. Britain never told you that even in Katsina State alone, there are other tribes in Katsina State who are also Christians. Even in Kanu State, even in Sokoto, there are people who are not either Hausa or Fulani, even in Sokoto State. But Britain never bothered about them. All the myriad of uh, tribes in the Middle Belt, Britain was not concerned about them. The only place that Britain was concerned about dividing the people is in the East. And they did an excellent job, of course, because God cursed us then. Because uh, That was why they succeeded. They divided us. That was why during the war, people like Edwin Clark was a traitor. A sabo, conk, sabotua. During the war. That was why some parts of um, uh, those that call themselves uh, 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 minorities, they broke away from Biafra and they sabotaged it. Now you understand. The same thing that happened to Israel. As Israel was taken into exile for 2,000 years, it was spread all over the whole world. Is there any difference between you and them? Is it not the same thing? Are you not in Cambodia? Are you not in, in, in Kazakhstan? Are you not? Some people are even in them. Um, one is in Seychelles. I think Kerang this morning. Didn't you hear it? Which people are scattered? Go back to history. The only people that have the same should I say history of being scattered is the Jews and what happened to them God cursed them God said if you bring idolatry into my holy house in Jerusalem what I will do to this building any passers by will ask what, a, what type of God is this and people thought that Elohim was joking after Elohim must have destroyed the temple using the Babylonians and the Romans in fact the Romans burnt it down to the ground the Arabians came and built a mosque inside the house of God if you go to Jerusalem that's the, that's the problem they have today if you go to Jerusalem now the holy temple of God built by Solomon rebuilt by Herod the third there is a mosque in it the, where the holy of holies used to be is Al-Aqsa mosque it's an Islamic mosque because God said what I will do to this building for, for, for worshipping idol for worshipping another God not me and going back to Arochibu, I have not forgotten those who are protesting on this history, unless you want me to stop. If you want me to stop, I will stop. But I was led by the Spirit this evening to preach this very gospel. Do you know why we have many gods in our land? The Edo of an Edo, of of a This and do you know why we have them? Because our high priests, they were so immersed in criminality and sin that they were afraid 
to pray to God direct because if you do, you will die. I have preached this thing countless times live on air. No one has come to counter what we are saying. That before you are made an inzeran or a tattooed man, you bring out your tongue, they will use razor blades to make seven incisions on your tongue. Which means any day you tell lie, you tell a lie, you will die. That is where I was where we got the phrase, if you keep speaking the truth, you remain alive. Any day you lie, you will die. So because of their criminality, the same thing that your governors are doing today in the temple in Arochu. You know, you know what they did? They now said, I can't face God alone, no. Let me look for somebody to ask God for help. They started forming their little little idols. The same thing that Israel did. No difference. The same thing that the Jews did. Now, they, they, now this is my idol. So, uh, this is my own Amadio. Please, Amadio, uh, ask Chiku Kekabiyama to do this for me. Because they, they can no longer face God direct. Are you getting it? The same thing that your governors are doing today. The same thing that our high priest did in our Chuku temple is what they're doing, selling us to our enemies. They are not coming to a Boeing state tomorrow to fight uh, Fulani Janjaweed. They are not coming to fight me, Yala, who are taking our land, raping our mothers. Go and Google it. A Boeing state. Rape and uh, oh, Fulani vandalism. No. They are coming to look for IPOB to kill. The only people that successfully repelled, the people don't know what we have suffered. We, we repelled Miet Yala after many years of battle in Ebony State. We lost men. Do you know that? Now, they know. That was why this man fired his rifle today to give impetus to the army to come back so that Miet Yala can go back into Ebony State and watch it. If, we, if you say, if you ask us to leave them and we leave them, Give a boy instead six more months. Fulani will come back and occupy all those lands we drove them away from. And that's what they're doing in the water. Courtesy of yes and week. Is that very clear now? Do you now understand that you're in a mess and that everybody needs to go on Twitter? Do you understand? Because they are going to kill us. I am going to get angry and I'll come on air and I'll ask for revenge. And, and that's what they're waiting for. Once I say go and revenge and attack Nigerian army, Britain will cut out the tape. Or even if, if, if Lefus will do it for them. Many of those I think there were six of them, who did it for them. They will say, Nam the Khan is a terrorist. Freeze IPOB accounts all over the world. That is what their agent wants, which is a Wazulika. They don't want Biafra. They want to deliver you into the hands of the enemy. Where is Al Mustafa? Where is that, that, that little boy? That's filthy pig. I don't know. He, he looks visibly dirty. That's why I can't refer to him. He's a child to, to me. He looks visibly, he's dead. He looks very dirty. Those that give quick notice. Those are the ones that the Wazirika is dining with. What does that tell you? So you don't know that Fulani wants to take you over. Anybody from the middle belt or from the south, you are do the way you are Biafra, you're from the middle belt, and you don't know that Fulani is having a design on your land, you are an idiot. Irredeemable idiot. And who are the people making it possible for Fulani to take over our land? You are politicians. Because they need to be in office for eight years. They need that money coming in. And for you to be in office for eight years, every day, one Nigeria, one Nigeria, our unity, our country, let us be one, let us be one. Because if you are not one, the petrol dollar coming from the sale of oil and gas coming from Biafra land will no longer get to you. That is the reason why I like this generation of Odudua. They don't care. And I have said it and I will honor it. We are going to lay free gas pipeline and crude oil to anybody who wants it across West Africa. If you think we are going to build Biafra, we sell oil and we, we start behaving like fools, asking for, for settlement then you are drunk. You are an idiot. The greatest natural resource we are going to possess is our brain. Our brain is there and we are going to make use of it. Your governors are against you, but you don't know it. Out of cowardice or stupidity or foolishness, they are giving our land to the enemy. 
but they don't understand it. That is the reason why we have no regional security. Because they will call Omahi and say, Omahi, I, what are you planning? Because they know that a regional security like that of Amoteku will checkmate the excesses of the fallen agent within our land. If you ask any governor, no governor wants regional security because their fallen masters have warned them. You cannot do it. Why don't they have it? Mietiala has region, uh, 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 nationwide security. And I told you, when Mietiala said, we now have a nationwide security, I told all of you, live on air, on Radio Biafra, about three months ago, that those they are relying to use, or those they are relying upon to implement their so-called vigilante agenda across the country is the army. Some of you did not believe me. Today is not happening. Please put that video on my page. Remind the whole world that this was what I said, that Nigeria army and Mieti Allah, they are working together. That they have the same agenda to conquer. Look at the coat of arms, or should I say the insignia of the Nigerian army. Is it not Islamic and Arabic? So how do you think the army can behave any differently? People will behave according to their name. The motto of the Nigerian army is in, a, in Arabic, Islamic, in a secular country. Why haven't they changed it? Because they are coming to conquer you. You people don't know what you have done for yourselves with this end, Sarsbo, the young people. You don't know what you have prevented. You have slowed down the march of Satan down south. That's what you have done. But you don't know. Maybe sometime in history, in the future, you will understand. Everybody now from tomorrow on, or from this night, ask the person nearest to you, do you have Twitter? Or say to the person nearest to you, I don't know how to use Twitter. Download Twitter app on your phone and follow some people. That's, that's it. You don't need to do much. Just follow and you'll see what will happen. Your thinking faculty will improve. I can assure you that your capacity to reason very well will also improve. That is why we must be on Twitter because the zoo army is coming and we must prepare for them because from tomorrow onwards, we begin the countdown to the end of Nigeria because that is what God said. We are going to fight. To be free, we are going to fight. That is true. I can assure you. So those of you living in Kano and in Kaduna, I feel sorry for you. Because of you, we cannot put a hold on our freedom. The will of God must happen. The will of Chukukikabia must prevail in our lives and in our time. They are coming. And this year will be the last year that Fulani will conduct their exercise operation, this operation, that in our land. This is the last year. 2020 is the last year. After this year, or should I say this year, Biafra will exist. Because once they come into our land, and they start with their killings and their arrest and their impunity, we will go into the bushes and we will fight them. Any land, any village we liberate, we raise a Biafran flag in that very village. Do you understand? Now, what they're going to do is to use the Air Force to bomb people because they know that BBC won't report it to see if they can bomb us into submission. And if that happens, we kill all their children abroad. Now you understand how fanatical we are about Biafra. We will do something that will shock mankind. So if you are a full on Janja weed, you are in Abuja and you are bringing this army tomorrow to come and start killing people in our land, your family is also at risk. You know me, I don't care what you take from me as long as you give me Biafra. Honestly speaking, I don't give a damn about anything else in this life apart from Biafra. I don't care. That is why we must be very, very vigilant. This army marching into our land tomorrow, they are coming from Enugu. No, the real army they want to use, they number 3,000 men. Our volunteers only. In Delta State. Outnumber them. <laughs> Only in Delta. And once they leave Makrodi and they come into our land, I will set the timer for the end of Nigeria. 
and Nigeria army will perish there. And you are going to see the might of God upon our lives. You will see the reason why I call Elohim every blessed day. Remember the prayer that I prayed on the 20th? Do you remember what I said? That God will prove himself on the 20th. And on the 19th, the army opened fire on protesters. That is why the eyes of the world is now on Nigerian army. And let me tell you what the death of the protesters at Lake Itoget is going to do for us. Every conscientious head of state, apart from Britain, every conscientious head of state is upset with what happened. And do you know the funniest thing? It wasn't the police that did the killing, it's the army. So when they come into our land now and start the killings which they must start, and we are on Twitter letting the whole world know that that same thing that happened at Lekki is now happening in Biafra land, Nigeria will lose every goodwill. It doesn't matter what Britain does. Any action we take becomes justified. They can no longer paint us as terrorists. You understand that? That's what Britain wants to do desperately. To stop us. But they will fail. If you have listened to this broadcast this evening and you, are, you have not learned anything, start looking for your father in the north. Oh, Janja, we the three We don't hate anybody. I love Fulani people. You may be shocked to know. I love Hausa peasants. I am a lover of humanity. I hate injustice. It didn't start today. It started from childhood. I don't like it. And quote me, those 3,000 men from Medugri coming into Biafra land, this year your operation is not going to be like previous years. Before you call me and you start complaining that people are destroying properties and rioting, ask your governors that asked for them to come what their true intentions are. Why is it that the Nigeria army is not deploying to Lagos? Why are they not deploying to any of the Yoruba states? Why are they not deploying to places they feel they have unrest? Why must they come to Igbo land? It is to fulfill all of you dreaming that Biafra came but there was a lot of blood. That process starts from tomorrow. But this army will die in the holy land of Biafra. Remember, I warned all of you. Prepare. For the appointed time has come. And if we work very, very hard, together as one team, as one people, in four weeks' time, Nigeria will be overwhelmed. We are not going to do the work. Heaven will send and we are going to fight, of course, but heaven will send angels to fight for us. I want you people to witness the miracle of God. Some of you don't believe in Chukukika Biyama. Because I, when I was praying in Jerusalem and I said to Elohim, for this revelation you have put in me, that the people that went between 67 and 70, they were singing a song. In the name of Jesus, we shall conquer. And they failed in 1970. From tomorrow, when this army arrives, we are going to meet them in the name of Chupu Okike Abiyama Primi Janine, God Almighty Supreme in Heaven. So that when Biafra comes, you will remember a day like this and make reference to this. Your children will remember this very broadcast and say that God fought for us and we won not man not man you are about to see the miracle of God upon our lives many are going to die, don't get me wrong the Fulani army, this army they will kill a lot of people but we are going to kill all of them there is no Fulani army that will set foot in Biafra and certain from tomorrow that will go back alive to the north they will all die in our land I want people to see God in action. 
and to know that Elohim sent us. So that next time when I tell you something, you believe me. Every Nigerian soldier coming into our land from tomorrow to effect any operation, this operation, that will die in our land. None of them will go back to the north alive. They will die in our land. And that will be the end of Nigeria. And the end of neo-colonialism in Africa. Biafra will stand on its own and you will see well, black Americans will leave America. African, they, they, they will come back to Biafra and come and live there. Mark my words. And the bloated pig, I can walk around me and Andrew. Only one pin, pin, thank God, he's not afraid to His bloated stomach will pop open. Pig. And as I told you, or was Rick's flesh will be eaten by the vultures. When I say something, write it down. Write it down as I'm speaking. The time now is. Should I say nine minutes to the top of the hour? Check it wherever you are. Nine minutes to the top of the hour. Nine minutes to nine p.m. in Biafra land. Udele geriusu wasuri ke udele. Yekwe on. Write it down. That you may know that Elohim sent me. I say tell now. From tomorrow we. Uh, we know before we have been playing the game of boys. From tomorrow, men will take over. But you will not see them. Huh? Those who do carrying out at the defense of our land, you cannot see them. But they will see you. And the Southeast governors brought them. Anytime they are in trouble, they call for Fulani army to come. That's what they do. And in 2020, all that rubbish will come to an end. And they become legitimate targets. Our own governors are busy selling us and killing us because they need to retain political power. That will not happen. In a few days, in Anambra, Omwaka Garije, there's no police. Kids went about. Huh? There's no police in Anambra. They came out today again, doing wing, 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 all over the place, looking for trouble. Because Britain is in a hurry. The same thing Britain did with Nzogu's coup. It was Britain that planned the coup. Nzogu's coup was planned by Britain. That was when Wunoju went to Aburi, Britain said no to restructuring. And the only constitution Nigeria ever had that was democratically negotiated was the Republican Constitution of 1963. In 1963, Nigerians, for the first and only time, had a constitution for themselves. Every other one after that has been drawn either by the military or by the British. 1963. Now listen carefully to me, please. I beg of you. After negotiating their own constitution in 1963, Britain instigated some officers to overthrow the government of Tafawa Balewa that was very corrupt, of course, being typical for I mean, it's not today they started, and to install Chief of Awolowo as the Prime Minister of Nigeria. Now listen carefully to this. At that time, Dr. Michael Obara was running or presiding over the fastest growing economy in the whole world. I did not say Africa. Britain said to themselves, oh my God, we've given them the name. Uh, we told them they have no history. We put them into Nigeria. But they are still doing well economically because, now listen carefully, a Biafran, Dr. Michael Opera was in charge of Biafra land. A Biafran was in charge of Biafra land. So, the promise of God, that was, God was, it's, it's something that the Jews were blessed. God is upset with us, but he at least allowed us to be doing very well economically. And Britain said, no, if we allow these people, they will become the Japan of Africa. And because Britain knows this, you know, they're in the occult. So let us stop them. Listen, how do we stop them? 
let us instigate a coup led by an Igbo man or the chief protagonist is an Igbo man, Nzogo, impressionable young man. Let us tell him that things are very bad, of course things were bad. Let them strike and I will take over. Meanwhile, Britain was waiting. Once the coup of 66 happened, and not many Igbo, because the, 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 the Igbo politicians then, they were very good now. They were doing their work. They were not stealing money. Zeke had no money. Obola had no money. So who are you going to kill? Those that were killed were very corrupt individuals. That is why when I read the history of the 1966 coup, I hated Nigeria in such a way that, believe you me, if you say you're a Nigerian till this very moment, I don't see you as a human being. I'm telling you the truth. I'm being honest with you. It's only these young people now that have gone come up to say, we are, our eyes are now open and you can see what they're asking for. They are asking for a renegotiation of Nigeria. Now let me shock you. The constitution that gave rise to the economic miracle of the West and the East, because in the West, I was doing miracles as well, oh, Miracle or economically, and in the east, oh, Dr. Michael, oh, but now listen this constitution that this is three, Britain did not want it. So, after the coup happened, and um, you lost it took over, Britain went to the likes of T.Y. Danjuma. Being a Christian, they ganged up. They killed their northern premier. They have every right to be angry. They started the pogrom in the north. And the Igbos were slaughtered. Courtesy of Britain. Britain said to them, oh, how come nobody was killed in the east? Forgetting the fact that Dr. Michael Obara and Azikiwe had no money. They were not corrupt. So why kill them? Are you following what I'm saying? And that led to a crisis and the crisis led to Aburi Accord Ujuku and Gowan was invited to Aburi and now listen let me surprise you in Aburi Ujuku agreed with Gowan that they should go back to the 1963 constitution and Britain got wind of it Britain got wind of it they called from Lagos. The British High Commissioner in Lagos called to go on, phoned to go on in Accra and to, to say, hold on, that the North is studying the agreement. And Britain went and told Alamajiri, Fulani Janjaweed, their rulers, the sultans and all the emirs, that 1963 constitution is bad for them because it will give autonomy to the Biafran people and if Biafra has any measure of autonomy either within Nigeria or outside Nigeria they will overtake you economically they will make you look foolish and stupid so reject it now the northern Emir has called to go on and say and said when he got back that they rejected it Ojuku went to Aburi to Secure restructuring. The same thing that the very venerable Paaya Debanjo is arguing for today. Anybody who is learned in Nigeria that went to school and is part of the restructuring debate, if you ask them, they will tell you we want a return to the 1963 constitution. That's what they will tell you. Because that is the only constitution drawn up by the people of Nigeria that Britain doesn't want. So I admonished somebody the other day who was saying, Hey, what Ojuku did? I said, Shut up, you don't know anything. You're a baby. Ojuku went to Ghana to go and keep Nigeria one by, re by negotiating or agreeing with Go One for a return to the People's Constitution of 1963, Confederation or Regionalism. Britain advised the Sultan and the Northern Fulani Emirs do not agree. 
you have more numbers as recruits in the army. Don't agree. And that was why Go One never published it. Uh, Go One came, he's, he's praying to, 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 to Jesus, praying to God. He's a Christian. As a Christian, Go One published Aburi papers. If you want to stop the protest, publish a book because everybody will abandon this. Everybody will want to study what happened at Aburi. Go on, has the papers. Bring it out. I to tell you that Nigeria is a den of thieves and liars. Ujuku did not go to secede or to separate from Nigeria. Ujuku went to argue for the structuring of Nigeria. That since the military is not doing a very good job, let us restructure. And they said no. Those people saying no to restructuring, Britain and the Fulani oligarchy, are they not the ones still saying no to restructuring till today? Despite the fact that they have every assurance that Nigeria is going to remain one, but the regions are going to be autonomous or the states will be, uh, allow them to, to run their lives. Are you following? Who are the people saying no to restructuring? The same people that said no to Aburi. And because we are very, very close, because we are very, very close to victory, Britain have advised them to move their army into Biafra land. That they will cover them. Can't you see the protest? We have uh, turned the narrative all over the world. People are saying, uh, oh, there's a protest. One person killed, two people, and that's all. Britain have now advised Nigeria to move their army into Biafra territory. Do you know how we're going to defeat them? Some of you who are not going to fight with Twitter. You may be wondering how can Twitter defeat an army carrying armored personnel carrier tanks and everything, Hilux van and AK-47 at the end of this process, you're going to thank me. Every family, everybody must be on Twitter. And you see how your mobile phone can defeat somebody carrying AK-47. Do as you're told, that's all. Do as you're told. You see how far we have come. Are we not successful? Although we have not gotten Biafra, are we not successful at the things that we do? Do as you're told. Biafra is closer than you think. And on that note, having been preaching for nearly, or should I say, over two hours, I will now try to open. I love Signal. You see how crisp the sound is? Very neat and clean. Hey, Omakao, Signal. And everybody must also be on Signal because when this war that is about to start starts, Facebook, Zuckerberg will take money from Britain and the zoo to start tampering with WhatsApp. So everybody must also download Signal. And from now onwards, that is the only way you can get hold of me. If you want to speak live on air, if you're calling any WhatsApp line, you are not going to succeed. If you want to call us, I will give you the number to call. If you have called before, please do not call again. And I want to know how the cleaning went all over the place and the preparation. Our people should prepare because a hostile army is coming. They have played their usual card. Niger Delta versus Ibo. Southeast versus South South. That was what, what, that was what Mwike and the bloated pig was doing to try to draw the boundaries. The same thing that happened in 1967 is happening in 2020. Evil people, because they are under a curse. And they're, what they are trying to do is to say, if you want Biafra, just take only the geographical southeast as you have it today, the five states, and you can go. We, we are friends with the Fulani. After all, I'm a, I'm a Muslim pig in the creek. I'm a Muslim pig in the creek. I have, um, I'm, 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 alhamdulillah, uh, brothers here. And uh, by us, our state will be taken over by, 
by people from from Taraba <coughs> or Jigawa. Jigawa will take over by Elsa. And they'll be crying and say, Help us. We are one. We are one Biafra. Please forgive us. And I will say to them, Go behind me, you Satan. <laughs> we are going to open our lives. Indiana and here in this UG, do not call me on WhatsApp because I will not pick it. I won't answer. If you want to call me, you call plus four four seven seven six one. Eight two five three four six. I repeat, plus four four seven seven <coughs> six one eight two five three four six. Or I will call you back if you have something important to say. The lines are now open, and somebody's calling immediately. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, you see how clear signal is. Wow. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hello, um, I'm calling from Indonesia. And what is your name? My name is Nemeka. Nemeka Batinji. Please go ahead. We are listening. The world is listening. Go ahead. This is the first time I'm getting you on the line. And uh, I don't need to talk. Thank you for now because the thanking has been much and uh, the thanking also is being it's been from uh all this way and uh in my heart i thank you as well but uh, what i want to say concerning this uh issue now is this you know i believe in charity begins at home i'm sorry to you know, I'm just saying my own opinion. I'm sorry. Charity begins at home. You know, you clean your house from home to outside. Mm -hmm. Those bad people in the Biafra land, mm -hmm. let's start taking them one by one. Because if you don't take them down, if you don't take them down, Whatever you're doing will not succeed. It's true, though. You're right. You are correct. You are correct. You are correct. I'm not that you. Once you, are, once you are going in front, they will be at the back punching your tires. But when you already clear the, the, the back, you can move ahead and be folded ahead. So if you don't clean your house, you can never succeed. Just like somebody has drinking paracetamol with somebody's headache. You understand? So yeah. this issue of if all these governors, they are not immortal, they are, they are human beings. They die. They bleed. You understand? Yes. No, no freedom comes free. No freedom comes free. You see, let me tell you something you don't know. The white people does not believe in uh, uh, diplomatic. It's true. It's true. They believe in, they love blood. White people love to see blood. Before they interfere in your distance. Because let me tell you something. Nigeria was given free and charge. They didn't they didn't fight for Nigeria. Independent they gave, they gave them independent free. Why the people gave independent free fought for their own independent? You think they were allowed to go free like that? No. They will suppress you. They will dehumanize you. They will make you look like an animal. And that is what is happening. The independent they gave to Nigeria, they gave them free of charge. Other country in the whole world fought for their independent. Only Egypt and Nigeria. If I'm not mistaken. So, now... If one Nigeria did not throw did, did not waste blood, nothing will function in that contraption. Secondly, the Biafra land, before for you to sanitize Biafra land, you have to start from those politicians. It doesn't matter what it takes. And you cannot come online to broadcast it. Those have to be a secret movement. Israel did it. Before Israel went back to their land, they didn't just go back to their land. They were saboteurs, even more than as you have in Brafa land now. They were saboteurs. So, Israel started 
eliminating those people, removing them one by one before they can penetrate. Because those people never allow them to penetrate. They eliminated them, then penetrate and conquer the whole place. We mean they got back the Israel DC. They started removing them one by one. The remaining ones. They killed all. Go and take the history. Israel killed all the saboteurs. I understand what you've said. This is, and thank you very much for that. It's a, it's a very valid point. I agree with you, of course. I agree with you. In total, in total, I agree with you. Once I accept, then you call. Once you send your request and I accept, the next thing I expect is also to see your call. There is somebody called Christian and I'm waiting for you to call. Once I accept you, then you must call. If you do not call, that means that you are not paying attention. We are waiting for the call to come through from um, somebody. What's his name again? Once your call comes in, then we shall accept it. Where is it now? And I want to go back and see if I can take some calls from Nigeria and Biafra. Yes. Um... As a regular update from Lagos, I presume. Go ahead, we're listening. My director, good evening from here, sir. Good evening to you. Okay, my name is Pastor Jack. I'm calling from Lagos, as usual. Uh, I just want to give a brief update from here. In the morning, I called earlier and I, I was giving a, an update that we're going for the cleaning. <laughs> yeah, it's just as if uh, it wasn't true. We actually went for the cleaning at Lake Togate. We did the cleaning. Our people gathered, we did the cleaning. And they clean that place. Not only that place, also in Ikeja and some other places, our people also clean those areas. Although tension has come down and a uh, 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 normalcy returning, but we actually did clean today in Lagos, just like uh, every other place. So I think uh, with this level, Nigerian youth, because uh, all the media, all the media station, they are trying to divert their attention. That's what they do. It's Britain now that are managing the news. That and stupid editors in night. That's how evil they are. Evil, evil people. Oh God, these people, eh? they have no conscience. Instead of them to actually be talking about the killing at the Lake Kito Gate, where they'll be asking people about the hoodlums, and people were telling them there's nothing like hoodlums. All those places they said they looted, either the government themselves set up those stuff that looted those places, or, or, or in other words, anything that happened was caused by the government. And instead of them to be saying this, they are, they are calling the people that went to get palliative, calling them hoodlums, but they are not calling the people that said they are going to share their, the palliative that is meant for the people on their birthday. A honorable member, has, a, a House of Assembly member, saying that he wanted to share his own palliative uh, in his own birthday, a palliative that is meant for the people. So that is the update uh, we have for you, leader. Thank you very much, and a very good one at that as well. At least they came out and they cleaned, which is a very good thing. Everywhere, the people cleaned today. They cleaned today. If you've called before, don't call again. The caller on the line, can you hear me? What is your name? What is your name? Hello? Yes, what is your name, please? Hello, is this people ask very foolish questions, and I cannot stand it. I can't stand people that ask me, is this Mazen Namdekano? So you don't know it's me, and then you're calling. Doesn't make any sense. I hate people who are foolish. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. My name is Ojimba Tobe. I'm calling from Edo State. Yes, go ahead. What is happening in Igudumigudu right now? What is going on there? Thank you. Sir, uh, we did marvelous work today, sir. At um, Uwa Aziz, we did some cleanup. At uh, Uromi Aziz, we did a lot of cleanup. We came out in mass. If you, we, I posted it on the uh, IPOB committee forum. So we, uh, we comply with uh, the directives. And the youth uh, were came out came outside to 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 do that. But what um, is happening in those states is Godoni Godo or Basaki declare coffee in order to you know threaten the youth in order not to come outside for uh, the end SARS protest. So and now I, 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 let me I want to warn the rulers of the zoo. 
if you don't allow people to come out to protest peacefully, they will protest violently. That is something you must know if you claim that was why today, at least in our bar, they can see that the protest was very calm. Nobody, you know, people gathered in one place and it must continue. It must continue. It is resilience. Remember the words of that doctor that I played a few days back. He said that these are war, old war horses. They know how to defuse the situation and get everybody to go back to normalcy. And that normalcy is no light, no, no running water. Police brutality, army brutality, there's some old garbage. We must, I wouldn't say we because I'm old, the young people must remain on the streets until victory is won, until they do everything they said they're supposed to do. If you call any chat show, any talk show, any radio, this night or tomorrow, even if they're discussing about um, the, the, the uh, uh, bleaching cream of, um, of a, a pastor, or how yellow the eyes of Loretta on a chair has become due to Chundis. Always take them back to the protest and call people to come out to protest. Don't say anything. Say you are asking the youths of Nigeria to come out and to keep protesting until they accede to the demands. They will admit that's what you need. Don't engage them in their nonsense. Hoodlum this. Hoodlum. Who is a greater hoodlum than somebody holding COVID-19 relief? that was donated by foreign countries as a as a wicked evil devilish politician you are hiding it in a warehouse somewhere and people still refer to these idiots as politicians you people are sick in the brain they are playing with you because you are the cause of it that is there are even some people um, um, supporting uh, 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 or writing in defense of uh, tinubu black people without conscience people without conscience as now the governors have ganged up together to bring in army. No other place so is the army going to except Biafra land. And then you want us to love them, to embrace them because you want to hold us down. Hold us down. Shut, don't say anything. Fulani have said this. Shut, shut, don't say anything. Mad people ever. Thank you very much. They responded. Under one command, that people are under one command. That is the problem they have. That is why they are going crazy. How can this man give command and people obey all over Nigeria? That, that is very, very sad. That is why they are complaining. They are complaining because it is not them. It is not them. Our lines are open. Anybody, if I've accepted you, then you call. Once I accept your request, you are now free to call. If you call, I will take your call. Somebody's calling. Once I accept your request, you call. The signal is beautiful, I'm telling you. The call on the line, can you hear me? Yes, my leader. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, my dear brother. And where are you calling from? Yes, my name is John Chinna Sokuchima. I'm calling from Aba, live. Thank you. You guys, you did very well today in Aba. Very, very well today in Aba. Yes, yes. Yes, there are some videos already, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sending now. Thank, thank you for connecting me. Sincerely, I'm trying to call you and to connect to this new app you gave to us. It is handy. It's coming out very well here. Like it's very clear. This app is so clear. It's on true signal. Very yes, Maybe Zoo can go and buy them over, or Britain will advise Zoo to go and buy it over they can't, tomorrow. They, can, they can't. I, I've, shared it, I've shared it to some friends now so that they start connecting to it so that we do. And, yeah. and if you can, you abandon, use WhatsApp for gossiping because I know, yes. you know, Biafran men, they love, their, they love their gossip. It's like a drug. You can leave WhatsApp for gossip, but only use Signal if you want to discuss sensitive issues because Signal is unhackable. If you want to send yes, sensitive and, or should I say, confidential information, always, always use signal. I'm getting a report that Obaseki killed three people yesterday. Obaseki killed three people yesterday. Very sad indeed. Very sad indeed. Please go ahead. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Yes, sir. 
Yes, yeah. Let me give you the update on things that happened in about on today in Abaya today. Yes, in the morning, uh, our people, the youth here, just your command, only your command, people went out. I, I mean, my personal service, my name, John Tina Sokchima. I'm a media here. I'm working with the media of Abia State. Abia here. So we, we after their meeting, we said that we have to go out for the cleanup. I agree with, with the coordinators within the Aba Ngwa Road here. Within that Aba Road, Aba, uh, Ngwa Road, we went there to clean up the road. Those uh, 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 police vehicles that was gone during the the protest, we mm. pushed them out of because they used it to block the road. We yes. pushed them out of the road and cleaned the gutters. And from there, we went to Tenant Road again, another police vehicle that was born there. They used to block the Tenant Road. We cleaned those places off. The people are watching us. Some people are even afraid to run away when they saw us. We told them that we are no, 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 we are not of that We are having red brooms. With some women from the, some of the IPB members, all of them, they came out. They were very happy when we gave the command. So we also go to, went to the Fed Bank and the, that within the Moss Road. We cleaned them. And when we are coming back home, these gender with uh, military, they came with their army healers. Some people wanted to be fighting. I told them, no, 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 don't run. Let's see whether this motor cannot contain the whole of these people that are here. Then when they saw us, they just passed, reaching Moss Road by within that first band they born. They turned back and went back to the park. But when we went back to Iberre Road, people gathered there. We prayed. All of us gathered together for a successful cleanup. And then we went back to our normal uh, uh, various houses. That is how there, there was no violence here today. The cleanup was just very okay. And there was no violence because nobody was killed. Was anybody killed or shot at in a bath today? No, sir. Exactly. That's what we are saying. The, the reason why the youth responded the way they did in a it was because a Janja with police officers shot at them for no reason. That was why all hell okay, broke loose. It's because it's because uh, we IPOB have said uh, have cleaned up everywhere. So out of shame, shame, you know, they have to be seen to be doing something. As, Hello? It, it, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I said out of shame, they decided to also announce cleaning as well. As I mentioned earlier, when we started. The reason why there was shooting in a boy was because the governor said, don't clean anywhere. We are going to clean it ourselves. I don't know what he meant by ourselves. Because ourselves means we be our friends. And be our friends came out today and cleaned the streets of Abakiliki and elsewhere and the environs as well. <coughs> once I accept, once I accept your request, then you can now call. Once I accept your request, you can now call. We are live and we are direct. Chukwoki Kabiam is bearing us witness. They said that that idiot in Igwacha, we came. Uh, Calm down. Wase begs youths as IPB announces peaceful protests. Calm down for what? But, uh, oh dear me. But uh, SARS is not coming down. SARS is not coming down. SARS is not coming down. We must meet them head on. We are, however, they wanted to give it to them. However, you want it, we give it to you. The zoo army is coming tomorrow, and from tomorrow, the clock will start ticking. The end of Nigeria is here. Once that army comes in tomorrow, they will commit one atrocity or the other. Because from now onwards, anywhere the army or the police shoots anybody dead, there will be violence that very place that same day. The police station will be burnt down. We will find people who, the people who are responsible and we will send them to go and meet their victim. Wherever their victim may be. No more mercy. Once you fire, 
it is an order across everywhere be it in Kafanchan, be it anywhere in just anywhere from today that the army or the police fires at an innocent person unarmed either killing them or injuring them destroy that very police station destroy pursue them and catch them and destroy them destroy them i have accepted you because he can i have accepted but the um, i don't know if the calls are many or whatever because it doesn't seem to be coming in there there's a call now coming i don't know what happened the delay the caller on the line can you hear me The color on the line, can you hear me? And they just disappeared. Do not ask for a request if you know you're not going to say anything or call. This is not a, it's not a, um, um, a parade. Can you hear me? The color on the line, please, your name and where you are, if you may. Yeah, my name is uh, Ugochuku Okafo. Ugochuku, where are you calling from? I'm calling from California, USA. Thank you very much. Say what you have to say. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, no, speak, speak, speak English, please, and turn your system down or move away from there because there's a delay. I am very far from California, and the speed of sound which my voice is making travels at 850 miles per second. So if you can calculate, it, it divide the distance from where I am to where you are by 850, that is how long it will take for my voice to uh, come out, either through Radio Biafra, uh, through IPOB Community Radio app or Radio Biafra app. That's how it is, where you are. So you must listen to my voice and then respond accordingly. Do not listen to the um, device, please. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, uh, Mazi, I want to uh, thank you for the good job you are doing. So, and uh, we here in California, I want to know how we can support this program going on, this good job that the Almighty God is using to do for our people. So I want to know the means we here in California will support, you know. Are you, are you part of the family? We are very strong in California. Makadi Amama, we are IPABs too. We are grounded in California. Are you part of the family? Yes. Then if you're part of the family, I am sure that the coordinator will know what to do and what to tell you. And then you follow those instructions. If you want to, if you want to support what is happening by going over and above your monthly contributions, then you ask them for the USA national account of IPOB and the money can be paid in there. As simple as that. And what support? There are two things you can do. Either you support us financially. Are you on Twitter? Hello? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. We are, yeah, I'm, I'm on Twitter. Are you following me on Twitter? I'm on, yes, I'm following you, sir. Then what you need to do is there are three things you need to do now. We have now to three things. One is you make your normal monthly contributions two you are on twitter and three when the time comes and you want to come back home you come and you fight but that time is very very close we believe that it will commence from tomorrow the battle for the heart and soul of biafra land will start tomorrow and once that army comes in people can start coming home and before you come home it must be planned very well. You must inform Germany so we can take you in without anybody knowing and direct you to where you are going to go to fight to save Biafra land from the British and Fulani. Very, very important, please. And thank you very much for calling. Thank you very, very much for calling. Everybody must be on Twitter. Everybody must be on Twitter. Once I accept you then you call Chizoba can now call if he or she wants to I have accepted and you can now call <coughs> I don't know this thing irritating my throat I'm, 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 you know, I don't know what it is just irritating my throat and making me to cough just my throat as if something is on my throat irritating me for no, for no good reason 
Anyway, um, I will try and and sleep tonight. I since since yesterday, I have only managed only one hour sleep. Let us play this message to see what they have to say. No, somebody have now called. Yes, um, the caller on the line. Can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are. Good evening to you. Your name is what? Hello. I, I can hear you. What is your name? No. This is the, the, the is, is ticking. Signal is, is very, very good. Let us see if we can listen to this message. Hello. Good evening, sir. Mazi. Please. This very person, I don't like people who do not listen. They don't listen. They have called before and they are not paying attention. They are not paying attention. I will attempt to call back. She's about for her to say what she wants to say live on air. I am calling her so she can say whatever she has to say live on air. It is saying connecting, it's not saying ringing, so I don't know. I will allow it to ring for a few more seconds and then I will terminate the call. I will terminate it. No, it is not working. It is. They're not picking up. It is not working. Yes. It's like a word of encouragement. I know this work we are doing is a very good and great work. And many people will be trying to annoy you. Please, please, for the sake of people like us that depend on you. We are they, are they still calling? God, we are looking upon you now as our last hope. Of this Biafra. If anything should go contrary now, only say we are all gone because what we'll be facing now will be worse than what we have seen. So please, I know many people will be annoying you. Just overlook it for the sake of poor masses and carry on so we can achieve this thing. You say? He said, I'm sure of it. Ebuka, he cannot. Do not call again. If you call again, I will block you. Do not call. If you call again, I will block you. I will block you. There was something that I said to some of you before. Just a few minutes ago, there is a headline in Punch newspaper. Nine feared dead as soldiers, IPOB members clash in rivers. Are you listening? As they clash in rivers. That they didn't say that the army was leading full army terrorists into a people to kill them. And people were defending their lives. Five soldiers died and four family members died according to them <laughs> Fulani wants to take over Obibu Fulani with the help of Wike they want to take over and the point I want you uh, do you see why you have to be on Twitter Punch newspaper after seeing the video of army and police escorting Fulani terrorists as they did the southern Kaduna they did not mention it in their publication Punch newspaper I warned you before. You don't know these people. You have no idea who they are. But we do. And we are warning you. Everybody must be on Twitter. Because once this army from hell descends on us from tomorrow, we need the world to chronicle, we need to chronicle or get the world to chronicle every atrocity because they'll commit one anyway. You know they were there. 
you know the way they are they will commit atrocity upon atrocity you know them very very well and that is why we must be extremely careful everybody must be onto is an order now and of course which end now will see to it and if she calls any coordinator and you know our people we are very funny people uh, we're very funny if she calls any coordinator i expect how to get maximum cooperation in terms of reaching our people and making sure that everybody downloads Twitter. Look at Euro, I want to say Yoruba because it's Sponge newspaper. Nine feared dead as soldiers, IPOB members clash. IPOB members were in their homes in Obibo. How can they be clashed? I don't understand it. What they should have said is that. Uh, a nine feared dead as soldiers and the Fulani terrorists attack all people. But they won't say it now, would they? They will never say it. Never ever say it. Once I accept is the correct number, Prince. It is the correct number. Once I accept you, then you are at liberty to call. You are at liberty. 5,400 and whatever messages. Unbelievable unbelievable please kindly add me i have accepted you i have added you onto signal and i am waiting for your call once i accept you or add you then you are at liberty to call i have accepted a lot of people but the calls are not coming so i do not know what is wrong with this is it because the line is jammed or what huh i do not know i do not know but this very person let us see if they have anything to say i won't ask them to actually give us their name but let us hear what they have to say okay the line is jammed actually because i'm trying to make a call and it's not going through i have managed to place one now let me see if it will go through i will try to see if this very call can go through the caller is on the line I understand you have a very sensitive information to give to me, so I am not going to ask you for your name. Just tell us where okay. you are and proceed to make your contribution this evening, morning or afternoon, depending on where you are. Go ahead, please. Okay. What I know is that whatever you're doing is going to work. You I see? have seen this as far back as five years ago. So don't give up. Don't give up at any minute. And even if we have to gather whatever resources we have in this world to make this thing work, it must work. Nothing will stop it. You yes, see? We gather all the resources in this world and it must work. You yes, see? Don't in any way think that anybody can touch you. If you know what is with you, if they know what is with you, they will run. Don't in any any nature believe that anybody can touch you. In fact, if they touch you, God will use his hand to carry you and disappear you from that being, that place. You Don't see? even think that anybody can touch you. you see? So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Even if we have to put $100 million inside there, it will sink in. Thank That's you. all I can say. Thank you. Nwika has declared war on IPOB and we shall give him war. <laughs> you know what uh, all of you before you come tomorrow oh my business in Kanu, my business in uh, in uh, in, uh, in Bagolada, oh, oh where we are we are surrounded by Fulani. oh take it easy yes some week uh, opened his stupid idiotic mouth he said he's ordering council chairman youths to fish who are those users are they not happy <laughs> oh he's ordering council chairman and used to fish out IPOB. any idiot in one of your stupid calls, all those idiots, uh, drunkards. Nah, 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 it's a, it's a that comes close to any IPOB family member, they will die. And when they die, you can bring the army. The army will come and they will die the same way they died in Obibo. For your information, we care you're a dead man walking, you're a slave. 
an Igbo man denying his heritage because of what you think you can gain from the Janja weed. You are a slave and a criminal. Let something, I don't know those they claim they are arrested, but we'll go to court and we'll find out those they claim they are arrested. But we can no longer travel for the day until the day you die. You'll be eaten alive. Idiot like you. You see, Gwacha, that thing you want, you will get. The color on the line, can you hear me? And as you are hearing me, I want the whole world to hear me. If you know me, okay? tell him he should stop digging. He's in a grave. He should stop digging. He's a gunner. Idiot. Hold on. Stay where you are. I said, hold on, Prince. Hold on. Stay where you are. Mika, you think IPAB is into politics? Only 23 council chair. They said, a river state governor. Yes, so Mika has ordered the 23 council chair. Only 23 of them. <laughs> Less than an IPOB unit. That's on the street. 23 chairmen and youths. We can, who are those youths? Are they not IPOB family members? <laughs> These people are foolish. Oh. And they call themselves intellectuals. And he claims he's a lawyer. I got bags. Others like you, they were making mouth, running their mouth. Now, wow, 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 wow. After a while, after a while, a short while, man, went there. They now calm down. <laughs> That's how we do it. So, Tambuwal, uh, tell me that Tambuwal, his ogre, the Sokoto State Governor, have seen what he said. He can now go and sleep. We can. Tambuwal is saying that he, he's seen your job, you're doing very well to divide Biafra into Niger Delta and the Igbo. You have done very well. Tambuwal sends his greetings. Idiot. Look at the fool. At all. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Please give us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, please. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to or oh, good evening from here, as you say. Your name and where you're calling from? This is Prince Chinemre. I'm calling from Mexico. Uh, but, sir, I have hold a, on. I am not I am not happy with those of you in Mexico. What is happening yes, in Mexico? What is wrong yes, with you? Are you people? Are, are you do you people take cocaine? Because in Mexico, people really. eat, people snort cocaine. Una, una, una cocaine in Mexico. Son, why? Son, no, really. no, why is the hold on? Hold on. Why is Mexico weak? Why is Mexico weak? That is what I'm explaining to you, sir. I'm listening. We have we have our coordinator here. And the man we have here as a coordinator that coordinating everybody before everything is moving well, but he's working under one man in America, and that man has destroyed the people here. The man, I don't want to mention his name. Please I don't. Don't, don't mention anybody's name. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So please, I drop uh, a message to you. I have uh, something I want to get from you because I have Nduwe Kaki in Nigeria who want to join us. The number will be released tomorrow. The number and the email address will be released tomorrow. A number and a proton email address will be released tomorrow for them to get in touch. And then as you are coming as an, uh, uh, a, a, a zoo soldier, you bring your rifle and you bring your uniform with you to join the family. At, at the end of this process, only foreign terrorists will be in the army fighting. And they'll be stretched yes. all over the place. And the Fulani, yes. Fulani kingdom will collapse. And Britain will be crying. And we'll... Anyway, yes. let's, let, me not, let me not say yes, too much. Yes, I've been talking to him all day. I've been disturbing me. I have like four of them now ready to join. They are now ready to join? Very good. By tomorrow, yes. the number will be out tomorrow. So you can direct them to that very number. And, and let them also convince their friends to leave the zoo army. And as soon as they leave, we, ha we have some already. They have already um, um, left. We'll gather them together and then they'll do an interview. They'll do a press interview and now they will go into battle. 
because the Janja we they are coming tomorrow. So the process of demonizing IPOB has begun. It has begun. I don't know if Hanese, that little boy or Hanese, I don't know if they're Hanese um, um, youth wing or whatever. Has anyone found them? One boy called Nabi Unachuta Gebon. We have intelligence on the ground. Have you have you found him? Wike, Wike is finished. And I want to know where Wike has his investments abroad. I want to know a list of his investments, his hotels, everything that he owns. Wike, everything he owns, I want it catalogued. He's a dead man walking. You want to ask to, only 23 local government chairmen, only 23. Maybe they'll have one or two thugs. When they, if Nigeria army is coming and they're dying, how about an ordinary thug? I get what I can do. Well, to, 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 what I'm about to be easy. You sent army and they died. Can't you see it? You want to send the local government chairman and, uh, and, uh, and uh, a few doubts. You, are, you want to bring war to IPOB and the Igwa child will be ungovernable. Idiot, the guy. Fool. No man. There is nothing one will not say in this public service because you're serving the people. Every, every, every piece of crap, every idiot things that they're entitled to an opinion. He has paid the media, they have written all their nonsense. Uh, is, he, is he going to stop us? Oh, nonsense. You make us more popular anyway. Is he going to stop us? The answer is no. Capital N-O. That is why we are formidable. That is why we are IPOB and I want Mexico to come back. I want to know who the former coordinator is of Mexico. I want to take personal interest in what is happening to the family, this great noble family of IPOB in Mexico, and it must be rectified and rectified very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. I shouldn't block anyone. Oh, our people. Okay, I'm not going to block her. The way they, they give me... Uh, people say I issue order and command. Do you know how many order and command I get every day? I say something and people will say don't do it. And I won't do it. I said I want to block somebody and I have gotten a rebuke. Don't block that person and I'm not going to block the person. That is how we are. It works both ways. It works. I have accepted some calls then why are they not? I have accepted you. Eh? I have accepted. In fact, let me, let me see if I can call them myself. Let me see if I can call Godwin myself. And maybe that is what I'll be doing. Once I accept you, I will call you. You don't need to call. It's not going to cost anything. It's still the same cost of data. Once I accept you, if you don't call, I will call you. If you know Wike, he is now trying to set up fire in Iguacha. When that fire starts burning, they will start stalking rubbish. But he started it. Godwin, can you hear me? Hello. Godwin, can you hear me for the last time? No, he cannot hear me. Or he's waiting for his voice to come through the radio or to come through whatever device he is using to listen to us. Um, Sunday, you have spoken before. You are not going to speak. I know you very well. You have spoken before and I will not allow you to speak. If you have spoken before, there is no need for it. Let me see if I can call this person back. Let me see. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Mazi Amikano, good morning, sir. This is Mazi Omeje calling from Australia. Thank you very much, Omeje. Thank you very much, and good evening from here. Please, what would you like to say? The world is listening. I would like, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I can't really say thank you enough, but... um. What I would like to say is that please give us, let us come up with something that we can start tweeting at the very moment. We don't have to wait until the, it starts raining. If we can come up with something that we can start tweet, tweeting at the moment, because so the millions of Biafrans around the world, even the youths, even Nigerian youths can start tweeting the same thing. You know, like, let's talk, let us be ahead of them right now. We, I mean, we're already ahead, but let us start doing that already on Twitter. Another thing I would like to deliver to you, I don't know, you must have heard the message, but I'm 
not sure, but I got information uh, yesterday about how many people were killed in Idu because of the palliatives that they were running to eat, you know, snatching, taking from the warehouse. That the military actually shot at people and they actually killed four people. And they killed four and they managed to go with their bodies. They, they managed to go with the bodies of three. That's, that's what they do. And they kill and they take the... That's what they... These people are evil. Yes, they are evil. Exactly. They kill and they take the bodies. Okay. Oh, yes, and the youths were able to take one of the body with them as proof and this army is in the order they're taking orders from obaseki the governor the same governor that saw you see why nobody should talk about any politician the same governor that i'm sure our sister came on air and said if obaseki wins things are going to be okay they are all all of them are the same all of them are the same they are the product of the same system look at how he's behaving they're all the same. They all they can never be they can never be good. And like you said, no matter how good the person is, if he joins the zoo politics, that is the end. They become a beast, they become a monster. So yeah, and another thing is that they also use in the army to chase away the um the real NSAS protesters youths. They're chasing those guys away. And they are they, they, they apparently I got information that Obasek is using his talks in the state to this guy so so, so so they are the people actually bringing violence these politicians yes, they are the they ones the they are the ones using their thoughts to bring violence and when yes. you hear them talking on tv talking on on, on piece of newspapers you will think they're innocent they are the ones trying to disrupt the protest very sad indeed very sad go ahead yes, so that's that's the information i got yesterday so when you see those violence taking place those are not the real those are not the real youths that are you know that are that are intended to you know protest peacefully those are the talks that have been paid to come and apparently they had they have an id card to identify themselves so maybe they don't get shot by the soldier or the military or whatever now if they disrupt if there is i'm telling obaseki now if you send your thugs to disrupt our gathering those thugs will be in trouble they will pay for it very very dearly because I keep telling our young people this, we outnumber them. Any day we get into our get it into our brain that we outnumber them. Anything we want to do, we can do it. We can do it. If the, if a basic sense is talk, set them on fire. Why how come? Douse them with petrol and set them on fire. The next one will not come. The next one person will not come. Because these politicians are very, very foolish. I gave them an example of people who are protesting all over the world. This level of high-handedness has never been employed. It's only in black Africa. In this UG, black Africa. And on that very note, we have come to the end of our proceedings today. And I thank you very much, Major, for your call. And all those who have called today and those of you who have listened the protest will continue tomorrow peaceful protest because what they want you to do is to wear you down don't allow them to succeed the protest must continue it must be more elaborate you must go and build a stand build them a platform a podium that the speakers can climb and speak it must be well organized come out and continue to protest it is your right to do so Anywhere a protester is shot at, uh, you saw what happened today now at Eboy. <laughs> uh, that state will catch fire. Makadi Amama. Let me take this final call from Chizoba. And can you hear me? I can call you. Yes, please turn the system down or you walk away from it. What do you have to say? Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. What would you like to say? My leader, please, sir. Uh, I want an urgent order so that all the market in Onisha should be shut down. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We are going to go back to the original ideals of the protest. Markets must remain open. There must be access way for people to pass 
No blocking of roads. I warned about this against these things before. Markets will remain open. No blocking of roads. No attacking um, of fellow civilians. No attacking of financial institutions. You must be well behaved. And if somebody is coming to disrupt your protest, you you know what to do. As simple as that. So markets are not going to be closed down. And thank you very much. We have come to the end of our program this very day. Thank you very much. We are reconvening in the morning, of course. Chukwu Kikabi, am I willing? I thank all of you that came out today to tidy up where you are and then proceeded to protest. The protest must continue. You can't give up now. Forget all that thing that's saying in talk show. They want to wear you down. That is the... If, I, I even believe that newspaper editors, all of them they have collected money. Typical black people. They have taken money to convince you not to come out to protest. We must keep protesting but very, very peacefully until they meet the demands. If they do not, now they should be given an ultimatum. When are you going to implement all these things? The 23 point plan. How long will it take? If, it, if the length of time is intolerable, then the protesters, the young people should write to us and can tell them we are giving you four weeks to implement this. After that four weeks, if you don't implement it, we will come out on the streets, we will block everywhere, there will be no movement. We outnumber them. 100,000 to one of them. We outnumber them. And they cannot succeed. And if you are one of those who invited the Fulani Janjaweed army into our land, when the dust settles, you are the one to blame for your, because our land cannot go to Janjaweed not minding what idiotic week is doing. Let me see the local government chairman one or the local traditional ruler. Then uh, I would like to say the example. I thank you all for listening. What we do is out of the abundance of love, care and concern that we have for the well-being of other people who cannot help themselves because we are under oath. And this great work will continue until everybody is set free. That is why it gives me pleasure to say that it, has, it will always be an honor to serve our people and now the youths of Nigeria at large. Until tomorrow morning, with all the love in my heart from me from here, good evening. <laughs>